for the Money in the Bank pay-per-view from Phoenix, Arizona. Welcome. I know it's been like three years since I've been promising Money in the Bank, and it's finally here. And what way do we start off Money in the Bank? A Money in the Bank ladder match for the Raw briefcase. The winner becomes the number one contender. The winner holds a briefcase that gives them a guaranteed championship match against the WWE champion. It can even be held, it can even be cast in tonight at any time, any place. That's the beauty of the point. It makes instant stars. The chances of cashing this in, you're basically going to become WWE champion if you cash it in the right way and it's not against John Cena. Whoa! Anyway, Randy Orton, man, hoping to do this, hoping to just put, tell John Cena, get the hell out of my way. As Orton tonight, we'll be hoping to capture the Money in the Bank briefcase and hoping to become WWE Champion yet again. Remember, he started off the year in a big match for the WWE Championship against The Miz. He defeated The Miz at the Royal Rumble for the WWE Championship. At WrestleMania, he lost that championship to CM Punk. He had another chance at the WWE Championship, but lost it to Brock Lesnar in a big time screw job at Over the Limit. And here comes a man that would love Love, love to win this right here, man. Get a chance to get that. Ch oh, 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 okay. He's got a black jacket. Cool black jacket, guy. Anyways, he would love to get this win right here and start making things happen for him and the Real Americans. The Real Americans tonight. Jack Swagger is actually in a huge trade of four way to see if he can become the next World Heavyweight Champion or even the next uh, number one contender for the World Heavyweight Championship. Either way, Antonio Cesaro is going to have to climb these uh, these ladders to get that briefcase. I'm not saying he will, I'm not saying he won't, but it's going to be a tough uh, challenge for this guy to do it with John Cena and Randy Orton. I think this right here is my... If I'm going to put them all in order of who I think is going to win, it's Cena on top, Orton then, then I think Cesaro... Cesaro would be third place in my, in my, my book. I think Cesaro would be third place. Fourth place would have to be the one, the only, the incomparable, the greatest, Curtis Axel. Come on now. Fifth would be Sinkar and last would be Ryan Duggan. I, I don't believe in Duggan, any, you know? He's got too much on his mind. And here comes a man that could shock the world tonight and finally live up to his... Finally live up to his potential, Sinkar. Sinkara hoping to live up to his potential, man. This is what it's all about for him here tonight. Ladder match. This guy likes to fly. Hey, a ladder can help you fly ever great. Ever more greatly, just as Jeff Hardy, he's always flying off the of ladders. But anyway, Sinkara hoping to become a man, hoping to get into WWE Championship potential. I mean, hey, again, you win the money in the bank, anything's possible for you. Everything, the whole world is opened up to you. Everyone wants to be a little bit nicer because once you become champion, they'll cash in for those favors, you know? Here comes a man who is the underdog. He is. Ryan Duggan, he started off his career here as an NXT rookie, Dolph Ziggler's rookie, has been going through hardships since day one, has been told by Ziggler and countless other ones that he would amount to nothing. 
and he would just go on to NXT, and that's all he would do. But look at him now. He's surviving on himself. He picked up a big win uh, the other night, I believe, against Damian Sandow. Now it's tied up in Series 1-1. But it's an it was an Extreme Rules match. He was in, and again, Duggan is not at 100%. I don't think he is, but he's trying to hide it. But he is he's going to have quite the challenge here. He needs to climb that one. This match could be that career-defining match for Ryan Duggan. This could be the match we look back and say Money in the Bank is where Ryan Duggan became a true star. He got that briefcase and then used it to cash in to be Money in the Bank. Just like The Miz. The Miz got a Money in the Bank, cashed it in, became WWE Champion. That's the way Miz came out of nowhere and did what he did. Can Ryan Duggan follow that? Even, even Ryan Duggan's pro on NXT, which was Dolph Ziggler, did the same thing. He got Money in the Bank and went crazy. Speaking of Ziggler, he lost tonight. Great match, though. Great match. I just said Kurt earlier, but he lost. He lost. Here's a guy who would love to win this one right here. Not only to impress Paul Heyman, but to live up to his family's name, to get a chance to become WWE champion. His father was never a WWE champion. He was an Intercontinental Champion, but never WWE Champion. So Curtis Axel would love to get that briefcase, get a contract for the WWE Championship, cash it in, and do something his dad has never done. Curtis has said, hey, I'm going to be better than my father was. And that's the dream of a younger, of a, that's the dream of the son. The son's dream is to be better than the father ever was. And I don't know if that's going to happen. Curtis Axel is going to live up to a tall order, order if he can be better than Mr. Perfect. But we'll see you tonight as Curtis Axel it's going to try to get up those uh, that ladder and get that briefcase that's up there and get what he needs to get. Oh, snaps. Do, 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 do. Ooh, up a knee. It's the hustle, loyalty, and respect. The leader of the C Nation wearing some re uh, rep. I remember he was wearing that red uh, money in the bank. So he's throwing a little throwback right here. Throwback Cena. John Cena wants a piece of boarding. And that's the way he's going to get it. He said, hey, I didn't, you know, money in the bank is a great opportunity. But, hey, I don't really need it. But I want to get in that ring and take down Orton. And if I can get some money in the bank and go back to the WWE Championship picture, I'd be happier than ever. But John Cena said his main mission here is to hurt Randy Orton, destroy Randy Orton, break Orton. That is his mission, man, here. We'll see if uh, John Cena can live up to that mission right there, man. I got the whole block wishing they could run with my division, but they gone fishing. All right, here we go. Here we go. It's all going crazy. Cesaro's over there thinking, okay. He's like, come on, Axel. You and me, you and me. Oh, it's, everyone's just going crazy here. As Curtis Axel and Randy Orton going at it right here. Cena's going after Antonio Cesaro. He sees the red and the, and the white. He's like, I'm the only guy that can wear that right here in this matchup here. And look at Cesaro right here going after Cena. And Orton's like, this is what I wanted to see. Orton and Cesaro going after Cena here. And this is not what you want to see if you're John Cena here. You're getting attacked by two guys who do not like you one bit. And they are going right after double DDT on John Cena right here. Randy Orton and John Cena. Oh, this is the one I've been waiting to see. Orton dodges that one. Orton dodges it. And Orton gets an uppercut right there. And now Randy Orton going after Cesaro. Orton trying to dodge Cena as much as possible here because John Cena's main goal will be to take down Randy Orton. Look at Orton brings that clothesline right there. As both these guys, every one of these guys wants to climb that ladder and get that briefcase already. It's up there. It's, it's there to be picked. It's there to be got, uh, gotten by someone. doesn't matter who. As long as you can take everyone else out, you can get that and become the man that is the best in the world or right now Antonio Cesaro says I got this watch this let me look you up let me drop you on that one bam just drop you on just drop him on it why don't you just do what you got to do drop him that's the, that's exactly what you want to do right as right you order drops Antonio Cesaro there's an oh a nice little hit right there hit about there and Randy Orton right now thinking how do I take down Cesaro Cesaro is one of the real Americans one of the guys who is trying to deport everyone and right now I'm pretty sure he would be looking to deport Sin Cara that's who you want to deport right now in this matchup. But Randy Orton's telling Cesaro, don't even think about that. As you got Curtis Axel and John Cena out there, Ryan Duggan and Sincaro, who were tagging up for quite a while, might have gotten tired of each other. So now they're going right after each other. As Cesaro with the big boots. And look at Duggan bringing down Sincaro. The question is, who's going to climb up that ladder? Retrieve that briefcase and be Mr. Money in the Bank. And 
DDT by Cesaro. And Cena's out there taking care of business with Curtis Axel. Sin Cara's got some steel steps. And look at the power of Cesaro. Throwing him right there. Throwing Orton like a rag doll. And look at Duggan. He was in the liners as a weapon right there against Sin Cara. Big boot by Cesaro. John Cena has a ladder. I, if I remember John Cena, he said he wanted to get a ladder to put down Mr. Mr. Randy Orton and what's Cesaro thinking right here? I don't if I'm Cesaro I don't know what the hell you're thinking. Cesaro, what are you what are you thinking, Cesaro? What? Cesaro, uh, I, I I like his creativity here. I'll give you that much. I like his creativity. But oh knocks down Orton. Orton was like, what the hell's going on here? And oh Cesaro with the headbutt right there. Cesaro is not a uh, bad not bad at all doing what he needs to do, but look at Orton going right after him. Orton striking right here. Orton's been in money in the bank matches before he's one one actually so that makes him a good a good participant and look at Orton right there Orton thinking going crazy Orton's going crazy Orton's going wild Orton is going wild on it and Orton stomping right now on Cesaro Sin Cara staying in it's time to start climbing that start, start, start climbing it to Sin Cara but uh Duggan making sure the ladder is moved a little bit while Sin Cara is in there making sure that no one starts climbing that yet and Cesaro comes right after Orton with a big boot Cesaro says hey Duggan turn around. Duggan turns it around. Duggan says, I got you. I got you, buddy boy. And now oh, Cesaro. Oh, shot to the midsection. Wait a second. Oh, he just throws Duggan right into it. Does not even care about Ryan Duggan on that one. Wait, Duggan. Duggan, the dig dog. Duggan hits it. Duggan is on a roll. Somebody stop Ryan Duggan. This guy's going for it. Sin Cara with his own moves on. Somebody needs to get up. Ryan Duggan's going to be money in the bank. Duggan. Duggan has brought money. Duggan. Duggan. Oh, but look at Sin Cara. I thought Ryan Duggan was money. I thought he was money here. I thought he was going to be it. And look at Randy Orton. He's like, Orton. Got Sin Cara RKO. 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 Orton. And now Sin Cara. Duggan is. Duggan is thrown up in the air by Cesaro. And now Cesaro with a suplex. And he throws Orton into that one. It's John Cena going high risk. Somebody better stop Cena. Somebody stop Cena. Stop him. Curtis Axel. John Cena's. Oh my God. Look at Cena. Oh, the dog and drops Cena. And Curtis Axel gets the dodge right there. And Ryan Duggan's got a ladder. This isn't going to be good. And Orton. Orton says, I got this mother trucker. And look at Cesaro's like, nope. Oh, and there's a suplex right there by Orton. Everyone, there's three guys down on the ground right now. This isn't going to be good. And look at Orton. He's just striking, waiting to strike. And look at this. Oh, he put the bejesus out of Curtis Axel. He put the bejesus out of Curtis Axel right here. And C Cesaro right now is just making sure. And look at Duggan. He wants Cena up. Duggan hits the dig, Doug. Duggan. It's the dig dug. Orton striking. Cesaro trying to take advantage of this one. No one's watching. As there comes Randy Orton. Here comes Orton. Here comes Orton. Orton trying to take this man down on the ring. Cesaro says, how about no? How about a boom? That breaker of the ladder. Cesaro. Cesaro. And Orton gets up to the... Oh, I'm feeling crazy right now. Orton is not... Orton is not human. None of these guys are human here. They're all just breaking each other again. We remind you, do not try this at home. Orton's up there. Orton's trying to get this one. Orton might be walking out of here with the, the belt. Orton's like, okay, I got to. Wait, where's Orton going? Orton. Oh, Splash Mountain does not succeed for Orton. He is dead. He is dead in the water right now as Brian Duggan puts the knees to the Orton, to John Cena. John Cena needs to figure out a way to get himself back in this one. Here comes Cena right after Duggan. Sin Cara's over there with Curtis Axel. All oh, everybody's going after each other in this one. They all want a piece of each other. As Sin Cara is mad at the ladder and he drops the ladder. Sin Cara is the man to beat here. Cesaro says, I'll turn you around here. Neutralizer. Oh, neutralizer on Sin Cara. Neutralizer. That's how you do it. If you are, if you're Cesaro, you are happy with that neutralizer. Randy Orton's down. Everyone just seems to be down right now. And no one seems to be getting up. As here comes Orton now. Orton's uh, the Viper. The Viper's in it. He's got Cesaro. There's a Russian leg sweep. Everyone's just trying to go somewhere. And look at look at Curtis Axel. P U to the crowd. P U U. Yes, smell. As right now, Orton now thinking, how do I put down Cesaro here? Cesaro's up, and he's thinking, how, uh, Cesaro needs to be. Uh, oh wait, where's Orton going here? Orton 
No, no. Wait, wait. Superplex! And Orton says, that's who I am. That's what I do. And Cena and Orton, who don't see eye to eye, but they are both knocking out. Ryan Duggan and Sin Cara is over there with Curtis Axel. And Orton is thinking everyone's down, so why not go right after what I need to get? And look at this right here. Orton with the suplex time. Suplex, suplex, suplex. He thought the ladder would be there. And Cesaro says, I'll move that ladder out of your way. And look at Orton. Orton's like, you know, stomping the bejesus out of Brian Duggan. He's stomping. He's trying to chomp this guy down. I see Car right now and Cesaro are going at it. As right now, Ryan Duggan's thinking to himself, how the hell do I get out of myself out of this situation with Randy Orton? He's just going right after me. And look at Orton right here. Look at this neck breaker by the Viper. The Viper neck breaker by Orton. Neck breaker by Randy Orton. The Viper cold and ready to strike and ready to kill. And wait a second, look at Cesaro getting into a tussle with uh, to, uh, Duggan, but now look at these guys right here. Yeah, I don't think Orton, look at Orton, oh, Orton trying to strike on Cena, Orton trying to strike on Cena, but it was like a, a no-go. A no-go, that was what's gonna, what's gonna happen right here, wait, double DDT, double DDT on Sin Cara. And I think Orton, oh, but Orton turns his back on Cesaro again, you can never trust the people in this ring right here. You can never trust Orton, man. And look at Ryan Duggan trying to put something against Orton, but Orton says, ah, oh, let's stop this one soon and fast. And the suplex onto the ladder. And a Luthes press right there by Randy Orton. And Cena says, hey, I'm going to put that ladder up there. Maybe I can climb it. And Orton, oh, Orton and Cena. This is the classic battle I've been waiting to see. Orton and Cena. Cena brings down Orton. And Cena right now. Everyone is telling Cena, hey, you're the man. But Duggan and Cena might be going up. Both men going up. Something's got to give. Something's got to give us the guard. Gets a special move right there. This is Zorro. And look at Orton waiting to strike. Orton's waiting to strike. Orton, oh, look at this. Turns him around. Orton strikes. Orton strikes. Orton strikes. It's Cesaro. And now Cesaro gets struck by the freaking RKO. And there it is. Cena and Orton. And oh, look, it's Orton right here. Telling Johnson to get out of my ring. John Cena is down. Randy Orton is the man up. Sin Cara gets up right here. And Curtis Axel said, I'm going to get up. And look at Sin Cara flying like a monkey. Everything seems to have been slowed down. Cesaro with a big bro. Look at him wiping the face of Orton on the ground. Oh, boy. Everything is just slowing down. I think it's just us here. Is our connection here? We're lagging apparently on a video game that's not online. That is the way we do it here on my universe, on my uh, my my episodes. Cesaro, look at the strength of Cesaro. Cesaro, copper cut on Randy Orton. Everyone is down. Sin Cara goes for a high risk maneuver. Knock down a Duggan. Sin Cara and and Cesaro are the only ones up. Sin Cara. I don't think anyone notices that that Mr. Cesaro's going up for it. Cesaro's going down. Cesaro went down. Cesaro went down. Gordon. It's got Sin Cara right now. Both everybody's just going crazy here. There is so much chaos just happening in that ring right now. Even the game can't comprehend what the hell is going on. Oops, I guess I'm breaking the fourth wall. But Randy Orton is climbing, man. He's trying to climb slowly and ever, ever so. Oh, but look at John Cena moving the ladder. Oh, and look at Cesaro's like, enough is enough. I'm tired of everyone thinking you can get up there and you can win this one. Uh-uh. Cesaro, now he's saying, I'm going to climb that ladder. Cesaro's got it. Cesaro's got it. Cesaro did it. Cesaro did it. Cesaro pulled it off. Cesaro is the money in the bay. Antonio Cesaro has done it. Cesaro holds a briefcase for a guaranteed WWE championship. Oh my goodness. John Cena threw Duggan out pretty bad right there. And then right here, Cesaro gets dropped. And then Cesaro, I think Cara tried to get him, but it wasn't going to happen. Cesaro. 
The real American has done it. He is Mr. Money in the Bank. Now the question is, when will Cesaro strike? It could be tonight. Could be tomorrow night. It could be a year from now. It could be any time when does Cesaro strike. If you are the WWE Champion and Paul Heyman, right now at this moment, you are afraid. If you are Kofi Kingston and you win tonight, you are afraid right after your match with Brock Lesnar. You are afraid now because Cesaro now holds a guaranteed WWE Championship. Oh man, let's just let this night keep rolling. This is a full big time surprise barrier. Cesaro has obtained the Money in the Bank briefcase. And here comes the leader of the black and pink attack. Yep, pink and black attack, whichever way you want to say it. She is the Divas champion. But for how long will Maxine finally get to Natalia? And will Natalia finally lose the title after one month? You know, she does not. She wins the title and then she loses it. And then she wins at the end. She, you know, it's always this and that with Natalia in the championship. But Natalia and Maxine will be going at it here tonight at Money in the Bank after a... Uh, well, a surprise in the Money in the Bank Raw match. It was not John Cena, it was not Randy Orton. It was Antonio Cesaro, who is Mr. Money in the Bank. And now Natalia has her chance here to prove the world that she is the greatest diva on the roster, that she is the leader of this locker room. Oh, shoot. Here we go. It's Maxine who, well, I can't figure her out. It's a little, sometimes she's hot and cold. Sometimes she's nice, sometimes she's me. She's been saving Tamina Snuka, which is Natalia's, I guess, protege here. You know, Natalia and Tamina have take sticking together because they are, uh, they are, they are, you know, they are, have that generational, you know, thing. And Maxine has saved Tamina instead of, it, of uh, Natalia in a couple, especially this past Wednesday. So these head games by Maxine, you don't know whether she's gonna be nice or, or mean. It's a little scary here because Natalia doesn't know what to expect from Maxine tonight, but I think she came preparing for Maxine at her worst. And we'll see what happens with Maxine and Natalia go at it for the WWE Divas Championship here tonight on Money in the Bank. Bad Money in the Bank, sorry. The Divas, there should be a picture of the Divas Championship. I guess they don't want to put it there. I guess we can't afford it. Anyways, the Dead Men's Dive. Ooh, yeah, you push the Y button to do it. So you got to approach it. I don't play as the Undertaker, so that's going to be pretty tough to do if I don't have the Undertaker. Anyways, Natalia and Maxine. Here we go. The Divas Championship is on the line. And Maxine is saying, let's just hunt a little while. And Natalia is like, let's go. And that's what you don't trust from Maxine. That's what you don't trust. She goes right after you. This woman is being cold-blooded right here. This uh, this sword called a harlot, according to Natalia. And Natalia says, hey, you know what? She's, she turned her back on me once, so I'm no longer going to just say, hey, you know, she's a nice lady. I'm going to be very nice to her. Now I'm going to go right after her, but Bulldog by Maxine. As Maxine right now hoping to become the next Divas champion, hoping to put her career out there. She is already a former Divas TV champion. So, you know, she could be uh, the next the next big thing here in the WWE. She could be the next big Divas champion. And uh, and look at this. Natalia says, ah, I'm the Divas champion for a reason. I don't fall for tricks like this. And this is what she does right here. Kicks like that. Natalia's pink boots knocking down Maxine. Pin for one, two, and a kick out by Maxine here at Money in the Bank as these two Divas are going at it. And if you don't get the chance to go watch Wednesday Night Divas, it's a pretty good show with Divas all around. All Divas action, every Divas action. Maxine going Iris with a splash. And she's got her here. One, two. And Natalia with kicking out right there. Not bad at all for Natty, but she needs to figure out a way uh, not to get in those positions again. Both these Divas right here. And Natalia, oh, nice belly to belly right there. By Natalia. Natalia now thinking, let's go for a pin. Let's go for a pin. Let's go to the shot. Oh, there the kick out by Maxine. The shopping moves here. As both these divas are going for it. And a kick right there to knock down Natalia. And Maxine's thinking this could be it. One, two. And a kick out though by uh, Natalia at that one. And she went for that kick again. And Natalia says, I, I saw it already. I scouted that one earlier. And you're not going to get me. Now Natalia says, let's bring it down to my level. Let's get you here when you can't stop me here. But now look at Maxine though. But Natalia says, come on. This is what I do best. My family does best. We grapple like this. And now Natalia got it again. 
And I've got Maxine here. And look at Maxine's going. Oh, Maxine says, I got this. I got this. I got this. Maxine right here, though. She's not thinking to herself. Here we go. And Natalia says, boom, right there. An elbow to the face right there. And Natalia says, let's give you another kick. Another pink boot to the face again. As you are seeing Maxine right now. And just some pain knock at that knee right there by Natalia, the Divas champion. Not going to give an easy match here to Maxine. She's going to fight her with everything she's got. As Natalia says, here, throwing you up like that. Yeah. Yeah, baby. Natalia is what what uh, the Divas, you know what she she believes. She believes she's the best Diva on the roster. Hitting that L those knuckles on the face of Maxine. Now a leg drop. Natalia believes she is the leader of the Divas locker room. She believes she's the best Diva on the roster. That she can beat any Diva that gets in her way. She believes it, man. And... I'm not gonna say I'm not gonna you know disagree with her. She is one of the toughest divas that we have. But we'll see what happens here. Natalia says, I got this. Close line. Knocks down Maxine. That could be it. We've seen Natalia beat several superstars, several divas like that before. But the kick out by Maxine as both ladies are going out of here. The Divas Championship on the line as Maxine with the big time kick. Now Maxine looking to work on the legs of Natalia. Natalia usually the one working on the legs. And her finishing move is the sharpshooter, which was made famous by her uh, her family. This is a it's a pretty popular move by them. And Natalia, oh wait a second, breakdown, a takedown right there, a nice little elbow to the back now. Natalia thought, hey, I had some, uh, I had some advantage, Maxine, not gonna let uh, Natalia take full control. There's a leg sweep by Natalia, Natalia, not gonna go down. Pinfall right here, Maxine could be done right here, Maxine's out. And a kick out though by Maxine. And Natalia right now needs to figure out a way. The natty by nature, can she bring out that uh, natty side? And Natalia right now is Maxine right now has control of the match right here. Kicks to the back. That's not what you want to see if you're Maxine. Nah, that's what you want to see if you're Maxine. You want to give kicks like that. That's Maxine right now in full control. Throwing Natalia over there. And Natalia in trouble. Maxine with a nice move right there. And look at Maxine. Wait a second. Oh, knees to the back. More kicks to the back. She is trying to hurt Natalia's back. Just trying to make sure Natalia does not walk out of here with a, a full, uh, you know, with the what you feeling on her back and goes for the legs on that one. She is just working completely on every every instrument, every part of Natalia's body. Right? It's just like, just kick her ass. Let's break her back. Let's just beat her up. But Natalia, though, she's going to try to fight back. She's not going to go down. She's not going to go down without a fight. That's the one thing that Natty does. That's the one that thing that anybody in the Hart family does. And that's not go down without a fight. But Natalia can't seem to get that one going. As more kicks to the back right there. As Maxine is saying, hey, your family's so good, yeah? Well, apparently not, not that great if I'm kicking your ass. But Maxine, here we go. She got taken down by Natalia. And you don't ever insult Natalia's family. Because she will kick your ass. And she will do things like this. Well, look at the strength of Natty. Look at this right here. Squat. One squat. That is that is impressive right there. Two. Do it one more time. Nope. Just a suplex by Natty. And Natty's like, this is what I do best. But this is why she's the Divas champion. She handles her business like this here at Money in the Bank. As Natalia says, I'm going to try to dodge that one. I'm going to dodge this one. And Natalia has got Maxine here. Oh, but Maxine says, I, I threw a little dust in your face right there. Natty's like, come on. Let's get this one. Come on. She wants Maxine up, and Maxine's like, okay, you want to fight with me? Here we go. Maxine's running at Natalia. Natalia says, you ran into the wrong person. Natalia with the clothesline. There's only one thing for Natty to do. Only one thing to do. Sharp shooter, yes. Sharp shooter by Natty. Natty's got it. But look at Maxine so close to the ropes. She reached for it, and she said, I got that one. And wait, wait, Maxine. Maxine, oh, no. Look at this. Look at this submission. Can Natty be going down? Natty will be going down to this move. This move will knock Natalia out. This is the move. Natty cannot get out of this one. And, oh, Natty is hurt. And Maxine's like, I'm going to put you out of your misery, Natalia. A power slam right there. And now she's going high risk. Maxine, high risk. And, oh, she hit it. Oh, she hit it. And now the question is, how does Maxine putting her out? Oh, look at this right here. Look at this. God damn, that, that's, that's got to do a lot of damage. Maxine could be on the verge of becoming the next Divas champion. And there it is again this time, Natalia. I don't know if she's getting out of this one, man. I don't know if she's getting out of this one. I don't think she is, though. I don't think she's going to get out of this one. I don't think Natty, Natty can do it. But look at Natty yet again surviving. That is what they've taught her. The hearts have taught her. Survive Natalia with that one right there. And Natalia says, you want to see some pain? Here it is. Natalia's got it. Natalia's got the sharpshooter on Maxine. 
the sharpshooter. Maxine's like, I give up, I give up, I give up. And that is it. This match is a Dova. Natalia successfully retains her Divas Championship against Maxine here tonight in Phoenix, Arizona on Money at Money in the Bank. Natalia does it. She, she picks up the win. She did exactly what she had to do. And congrats to Natty for doing it. You know, this is what you got to do. If you're Natalia, you win matches like this. You put her down like that. Boom, face first. Bam. Knock the hell out. Knock her the hell out. Simple. That's exactly what I saw from that one. And Natalia wins the match. She will be walking out of here with the championship. And she came in walking here with the championship. And she'll walk out with the championship. Simple as that. Natalia is still the Divas champion. And all the people who bet on Natalia, you were right. Which must have been everyone. But hey. Natty's walking out, and now the next thing is who challenges Natalia next for the Divas Championship? A Divas division that's very, very, uh, we have a, a deep Divas division, so who will be the next challenger for Natalia? Who will be that lady to step up and say, Natalia, bring me, come on, bring, bring it on. That Divas Championship's coming on to me. Natalia defeats Maxine here tonight. What else can I say? Did you, were you not sports entertained? Come on, man. Money in the bank, Phoenix, Arizona. What's the next match? I don't know what the next match is. I wish I, I knew what the next match was. What's the next match? I don't know. You tell me. Jerry Flotide, something, something. Sheamus is ready to go one on one here against the Big Show. The Big Show is the man that took down, well, Sheamus is, I guess, mentor? Uh, Triple H, he took him out at King of the Ring in a violent display. He just kept giving him the WMD at the WMD through him. And if you haven't seen that King of the Ring paper, go check it out. You get to see the beat down that Big Show delivered to Triple H. Sheamus said, you know what, man? I'm tired of this crap. I'm going to kick your ass just for it. And Sheamus is going to kick some arses here. And he's hoping to do it here, man. Here at Money in the Bank. Remember last month he was going for the WWE Championship. And now he's taking on Big Show here at Money in the Bank. Hoping to get some retribution for Triple H. It's the big bad show tonight. Yeah. Well, it's the big show. Well, big show is ready to go here, man. At Money in the Bank against the big bad Sheamus. But the question here is, uh, you know, big show's been protected by Paul Heyman. And big show hasn't done actual sense that time at King of the Ring. So the thing now, the question is, what is, what is big show going to do here? I want to see what I want to see what Big Show's got in store here for the Dublin, the Dublin Brawler, Sheamus. I want to see what it is. I want to see if he's just gonna go right after him. I thought Triple H was gonna have an even fight with Big Show, but Big Show destroyed him. So will Big Show be doing that yet again here tonight? And Sheamus, I'm Sheamus. I watch. I'm watching myself here, man. I'm watching myself. It could be the end of my career and Money in the Bank. I want careers are made. It could be the end for Sheamus. All right, let's go right here. Sheamus, Big Show. One-on-one -on -one here at Money in the Bank. Sheamus is taunting, but no Big Show going. Look right at them. Big strikes here. And now Sheamus is like, uh-uh, this is not how it's going to go down. Sheamus, man, again, was very thankful to Triple H. When Triple H got him a chance at the WWE Championship, but they tagged that battle over a little bit. But then Triple H had his own problem with the Big Show. And then Big Show and Triple H went out at King of the Ring and gets who got his ass kicked. Gets Triple H the game. Got his ass beat by Big Show. And not only beat, he was stretched out of the arena. 
And uh, we have not heard yet results on Triple H when he will return or not, if he'll even return, because the Big Show just put him down. And I headbutt to the back right there. Big Show, Extreme Rules here. Sheamus going to have to use those weapons to bring down the big man. The big man Breen brought down. Big Show trying to get some sneak attacks during these four weeks against Sheamus, but Sheamus has been very well at stopping him. And look at Sheamus' strength. This is why he was the number one contender for a WWE championship. Suplex on the Big Show. This is just strength right here by the big bad Sheamus. And Sheamus running at him, but the Big Show goes like, I got him over me. Oh, and look at look at Sheamus coming right from behind. And Sheamus making sure that Big Show can't do anything. Look at Sheamus stopping out, stopping out the mud holes. And Big Show is now getting tossed around, but the Big Show now coming right behind him. Look at this man, this guy in large red. Ah, that hurts me. I don't even get hit by it. But Big Show with another suplex right there. This is a big time match right here at Money in the Bank. We've already seen Antonio Cesaro win. A money in the bank. We've seen a new U.S. champion at the pre show and an Italian retainer championship. The big show right now, taking care of business here. Taking care of business every day. Big show brings down Sheamus yet again. This isn't what you want to see. Big show dominating right now. Big show is dominating right now. This is not where you want to be. Hashtag MITB for money in the banco. Money in the banco from Mexico next year. Guarantee. I'm guaranteeing we'll do it for Mexico next year. As Big Show right now is going. With, come on, man. Why does everyone have the feel to break my table? Why? But look at, oh, Sheamus is like, uh, I got you. Don't worry. I'm going to save your table. And Sheamus has got a chair. I don't know why he's got a chair. Running at Big Show. Give him a still stare. Uh, give him one of those. And Sheamus is like, come on, Big Show. You want to give punishment to people? Come on. Come on. Come on. And another steal. Another one to the face. Smacking him. Just keep going. Have fun at it, Sheamus. And bam. And, big, and Sheamus is pulling. The sledgehammer. Oh, but now Triple H. The sledgehammer is in the possession of Big Show. And he lays. Sheamus out. The big Show's like, hey, this is what you wanted. This is what this is what you this is what you got. That's all you got. Big Show lays a big time leg right there onto Sheamus. And if I'm Sheamus right now, I'm thinking, how do I beat down? How do I beat this guy? And whoa! Oh! Big Show! Said Sheamus flying! The Giant has got Sheamus down. I, I take back what I said earlier about Show had not been in action. He was in action against Kofi Kingston on Monday Night Raw, and uh, it didn't go the way of Show, so he's probably a little pissed off after that one, two. And I kick out by Sheamus, though. Sheamus and Big Show going out of here. And now, whoosh. oh, my God, he's going to leave that chest red. Uh, yeah, Sheamus came in white and pale. He came in looking without a sunburn. And he's going to look like he's walking out with the sunburn here out of Phoenix. And bam! Going out the leg. Oh, boy. Here comes Sheamus. Sheamus thinking. Broken! Yes! Yes! One, two. And a kick out, though, by the Big Show. Big Show with a kick out. How do you kick out of a bro kick? So Sheamus is thinking right now, how the hell do you kick out of it, man? And now Show. Show with the spear. Big Show with the spear. Sheamus could be out. One, two. And a kick out, though, by Big Show. Big Show with a big time kick out. And now Sheamus is in deep trouble right here because Big Show right now is in full control of the Celtic Warrior. And you don't want this guy in full control again. Let me show you what happened in King of the Ring. He destroyed Triple H. Killed Triple H. Not only did he break Triple H, but he broke him and put him in a freaking stretcher. And that's the way you do it. And look at Sheamus says here. Grab all my nuts and feel this, son. Sheamus is strength of the Celtic Warrior. My God. Oh, my God. I'm speechless out. Strength. And a, oh, my God. 
Yeah, it finishes like that. I wasn't really happy about this match. Yeah, Sheamus wins. And right there, look at that. Just being sent over. Shame is getting a good measure of revenge, though. Did you see the way Big Show's head just fell right onto the mat with that feat of strength by Sheamus? Look at this. Look at the strength of Sheamus. And Diana Big Show lands just awkwardly. And that's the way you do it. Big Show might be out with a broken neck. His neck might be broken after that one. That's the way you do it, Sheamus. Break his damn neck. He, he had no problem trying to break. Trying to break the neck of Triple H. Trying to break Triple H down. That's what happens, man. Kama is a biscuit. And here we go, man. Shane was just celebrating right now. Feeling like he just got a measure of revenge for Triple H. Hey, you did. Go ahead. You got your revenge. You got exactly what you wanted. Revenge against the big show who took down your, your mentor, Triple H. Money, ba uh, money bank. Yeah, money bank. Money in the bank will continue after these sexy messages from your mom. Six one nine. Here comes one and a half of the tag team champions, and he said he's coming alone out here, man. I, I think this Riley's world is in the. You know, I, I know they have Kane on it, but again, they said they they need they need this attention on them, and I guess they don't want to make up uh, to interesting together, so they're making these interests solo. But they are still tag team champions. They're saying there's no friction at all, even with the new member of Kane at it. I didn't even know Kane, or maybe they just bought Kane out for one. One day, hey, but we'll see what happens here tonight because remember, there's still that fatal four, that big battle, well, sorry, for the world title slash number one contender world championship uh, between uh, Kane, Riley Sparks, Cody, and Jack Swagger. But tonight, Ray and AJ have to defend those titles against guys they have not been able to uh, fare well in singles competition Titus O'Neill and Darren Young, the prime time players. All right, here we go. Here comes the man known as AJ Styles. AJ Styles, one and a half of the tag team champions. Again, I, I, I don't know why we need all these interests. Why can't they just come out together? You know, this is just a lot of time that's being wasted that we could be seeing these guys in action. But again, Riley's world enjoys doing this to people. They like to show vote. They like to gloat to hear those guys. They are the young and annoying guys here. But whatever, just whatever. As AJ Styles walking out with his championship. If anyone I believe that doesn't belong in that group with these two, I don't think these two guys belong in that group at all, man. These guys should just say, we're getting the hell out of this group and starting our own tag team. I would love to see these guys pander to the crowd and be the tag team for this crowd, man. That's, that's what I like. I don't know why they're not. It scares me why they're not that tag team, man. Here we go. The number one contenders for the tag team championship. Prime time players. I mean the prime time players. I mean Darren Young, Titus O'Neil. It's time. It's ready. Making moves, making moves, making million dollar moves. It's the prime time players. It's D Young and Titus O'Neil. Oh my God, this is 
over. Can these guys pick it up, man? Can these guys do it here in Phoenix, Arizona and win the Tag Team Championships in their green gear? Yes, green for us. Obviously, because the pay per is money in the bank, so three. But let's see how uh, Tyus forgot the green one right there. But he got some Michael Weekly. Here we go. Can these guys, the primetime players, handle business here? Will they be making millions of dollars? Millions of dollars tonight, or will they be making just chump change and lose the match? AJ Styles and Rey Mysterio will have different plans, but let's see if these plans, whose plans play out more. Darren Young and Ray Mysterio starting this one off. Here we go. Ray and Darren starting this one off. The tag team titles are on the line here at Money in the Bank. Something's got to give here tonight. Could the end of Ray and AJ Styles as champion be over? Remember, this all happened at Over the Limit. Uh, Juan was actually supposed to be partnering up with AJ Styles that night. And guess what happened there? Uh, Juan was taken out by Riley's World. We learned early, later on in this whole little feud thing between Juan and Riley's World. And uh, no, what? Not uh, the job break right there by Rey Mysterio. And Rey Mysterio filled in for AJ, and AJ joined Riley's World. And Titus O'Neil and Derry Young got their chances at these championships of Ray and AJ Styles by by beating them in singles competition. Beating them in a, in a in single competition, that's the way you do it. You beat them like that. I guess they didn't get a chance at a, a tag team match because Ray and AJ don't want to put tag team matches, but Ray got caught in a power bomb by Derry Young, the primetime player. Is doing exactly what he needs to do right here. Here we go. Look at D Young, D Money, a million dollar man all day, every day. Mr. No Days Off is doing what he needs to do. But look at look at Ray again. This is what makes Ray so deadly. Ray can do things like that. He might be small, but he does things like that, that are very good. And look at him just jumping over Darren Young. And look at all, oh, but Ray comes right back for the attack. But Darren Young now says, I got this. And let me flip this neck breaker right there. And Darren Young says, I take, I'm taking this guy out. I'm doing what I need to do here, man. Tag team titles are on the line. When's the next time we're going to get a chance at the tag team titles? I don't know when, but we got to make this one count. We got to make these champions, this match count and put the name out there that the primetime players are ready for. And look at this right here. Tag team maneuver. Darren Young throws Titus O'Neil. This right here. In my opinion, right here, Titus O'Neil is the difference maker in this match. Titus O'Neil is the power game. Ray and AJ don't have that power that Titus O'Neil has. That's the difference in these with these guys. And look at Titus going to use that power. And Ray Mysterio, could we be looking at new tag team champions here tonight? The primetime players hoping to become next tag team champion. And that would be one amazing move. As the million of dollars, million of dollars, the PTPs, as highest. Here we go again, another tag team maneuver again, yet again. Look at Darren, this time being used as the man to fly. Ray Mysterio is hurting. AJ Styles just over there watching it. Ray get his ass kicked right here. And oh, but look at Ray. Look at Ray. Oh, this is what you got to be hurting about Ray Mysterio. And look at Ray, says, I got you, AJ. AJ Styles coming right in the ring now. AJ Styles not the guy you want in the ring because he will go right after you. Going right after the leg of Darren Young. He knows how to take care of business. The phenomenal one, AJ Styles, the winner of my NXT, my first season of NXT. If you guys haven't seen that, go check that one out. It's there. You just got to go digging. As they tag into Rey Mysterio now, AJ Styles and Rey are going to do what they got to do. They're going to make these short tags, make these quick tags, do exactly what they got to do to win this matchup. Man, that's what these guys want to do. They want to retain their championships and do it by any means necessary. Is Rey Mysterio going high risk? Rey Mysterio dropping a splash, but Darren Young says, whoa, whoa. And oh, but look at Ray. He says, I saw that one, Darren. You're not getting away with that, man. It's now Ray Mysterio. He's got AJ over there. Tag team. Tag team. And look at this maneuver right here. Look at AJ. And that's Trace. Oh, my God. That was a beautiful move right there by the Phenomenal One and Ray Mysterio. Give, I don't want to give you guys their credit, you know, credit like that. But again, they did a pretty good job right there whooping some ass. Again, I told you, man, these guys would just, you know, leave Raleigh's world. Be nice guys. They could be, they could be special. Where's that good AJ? AJ's telling Darren, stay down. And Darren's getting up, but look at Moonsault. 
Moonsault by AJ Styles. And all, oh, but here comes Darren. Here comes Darren. And Darren went throws an, an elbow right there. And Darren Young. And oh, but look at Darren. He's in trouble here. Darren's in trouble. And Darren's in trouble because AJ right now is feeling it. AJ's feeling this, man. AJ's like, one more time. Right now, why not? And AJ Styles. And a clothesline right there. AJ, frog splash with the knees right there by Titus O'Neill's partner, Darren Young. Oh, but again, Darren Young needed to figure it out. And Titus was like, come on, man. You got to tag me in. I'm your, I'm your partner, man. I'm your partner in crime here. And now a clothesline by AJ. AJ Styles right now definitely bringing the pain to Darren Young right here. And oh, look at AJ taking down Titus. And look what he does here. Bam! That, that's just, that was a very pretty move. But Titus O'Neil needs to get the tag, man. He he sees Darren. He's telling Darren, come on, man. You got to make that tag into me. And uh, he he can't get the tag because AJ and Ray right now are are just isolating Darren Young over there in the corner. They're making sure Darren doesn't do anything in this matchup, man. Titus is like, come on. I need that tag, man. Because Ray Mysterio now taking control of this knee to the midsection of Darren Young. Mr. No Days Off. Is in a lot of trouble here against Ray and and Mr. AJ Styles if he can't figure himself out here. Oh, Hurricane by Ray Mysterio. That's when you know Ray Mysterio is in real in real. Look at that! Oh, wait, wait! Oh, knee shot. Oh, Ray Mysterio right now is doing. I didn't think he'd do it. Look at this! Look at this kick! Oh my God! Did you see the his face? Pinfall, one, two, and a kick out by Darren Young. And look at, oh, look at Titus now. Titus says, let me get involved into this. As Darren and Titus doing what they need to do. Here we go, just hitting each other, just hitting each other. Look at this right here. There we go, here we go. Darren Young's like telling Titus, Titus, where are you, man? Come on, man, I need the tag. And Ray, oh, come on. And look at Titus trying to get the tag in it. Darren, but he missed it. And look at Ray making sure Titus can't get the tag. And tagging now to AJ. And here we go. They're doing their tag team stick. And another kick to the back is Ray and AJ, the tag team champions, doing exactly what they need to do, man. As Darren Young is being destroyed right now by these two guys. Don't make any sexual jokes. I will kill you. And oh, look at AJ Styles, man, the phenomenal one. He's flying like a monkey. One, two, and Titus on the other like telling Darren, come on, man, I'll save you, man. And look at Titus being taken down, but look at Darren Young. DDT. And there's a shot right there. Come on, Darren. Darren Young, man, trying his best here to keep his team alive neck breaker drops tag Titus the real deal O'Neal Titus the real deal big deal whatever you want to call it and taking down the competition and that starts with AJ Styles Titus O'Neal says here you go AJ God and Titus O'Neal's got him right but look at AJ Styles wait quick to the uh, quick to the switch right there AJ Styles Figure that out. And oh, but look at Tyus right here. This is what I was talking about. Tyus, man. The real deal, man. This guy's strength. Oh, kick to the mid. Oh, kick to the midsection. Get kick to the midsection. Again, the tag team titles are on the line. I don't. I don't know what else to tell you about this, but here it is again. AJ Styles switches the roof. You beautiful, baby. Kicks beautiful. And AJ Styles high res. Oh, got caught by Titus O'Neil. Titus says, "Here you go, boy." Oh, oh, you break him in half. Why don't you, man? Break him in half. Titus O'Neil. Here we go. Look at Titus throwing. AJ. AJ Styles though, keeping himself in this one. AJ trying to those up. He is crazy in these high res maneuvers. Tag in to Rey Mysterio. Now Ray is thinking, how do I put this guy out? A little splash like that. And then Titus says, nope, nope. Set it up, baby. Set it up. Ooh, 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 ooh. Titus O'Neal. Titus 
has got him. That's it. New tag team champions. We're going to have new tag team champions, ref. We're going to have new ones. Make the pin. Titus, one, two. And AJ Styles saves Rey Mysterio. And Titus is like, come on, who, want, who else wants a piece of me? Electric chair. Titus right now. Like, who else wants a piece of Titus on the O? Wait, 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 wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is Ray thinking? Ray, what are you thinking? Oh, 619. No. Oh. Taking him down right there. Ray going high risk again. Frog splash. No. No. One, two, three. Oh, the tag team champions will remain. AJ Styles and Ray Mysterio. Titus though came in looking so good, man. And then ah, he got hurt. He got taken down, man. are still your tag team champions. The primetime players not able to get away with it. I don't know what else to say, man, but Riley's world has already, is, they're, they're doing a good job here tonight already. We'll see how how Riley does tonight. And from what I'm hearing, there will be an open invitation for the Intercontinental Championship tonight involving Mark Henry. And we'll see who will accept that. Who wants to face Mark Henry for the Intercontinental Championship? Since Mark Henry says since everyone's calling him a phony champion, he's going to show that he can defend against anybody. Anyways, Money in the Bank will continue from Phoenix, Arizona. It's hot as the Dickens in these beach. Oh my God, my foot. Whoa! Here we go. Intercontinental Championship. Inner uh Inventen Invita uh, la, 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 la. Invitational Intercontinental Championship match. Mark Henry has thrown the invitation to anybody in the back, any guy in the locker room defend his intercontinental champion a lot of people have been saying mark henry is no champion mark henry is a loser mark henry was given that intercontinental championship that was me who said that but anyways mark henry will be defending his intercontinental championship here tonight at money in the bank and we don't know who his opponent is but we're about to find out Oh, snaps! He's back! Oh, baby, he's back! And Money in the Bank with a generic theme song. Oh, baby, welcome back to the kid. If you don't know who that is, that's my creative character. That's me. That's me, baby, that's me! Millions of dollars. And he's accepted the challenge for the Intercontinental Championship. Oh, baby, it's time to go one on one. Can one take down Mark Henry and become the new Intercontinental Champion? Oh, baby, he's taking the challenge of the world's strongest man. He has been gone for a while on his little hiatus, a little sabbatical after losing him 
Riley sparked that Intercontinental Championship match at King of the Ring. Remember, it, was a, it wasn't even a, a one-on-one match. It was a freaking a freaking one-on-three, okay? A freaking match like that, okay? I'm just saying, it was a gauntlet match, and now he's getting another chance at the Intercontinental Championship. Here tonight at Money in the Bank, the crowd is saying, let's go, kid. Let's take this one, baby. Let's take that championship away from Mark Henry. He wanted a challenge, and he got his challenge, man. He got it. Here it is, Henry and Juan one-on-one. -on -one. Mark Henry, the world's strongest man. Juan, the guy who has made his return from his old sabbatical. Here we go, tying up horns. We know who's going to win this one. Mark Henry, obviously. Headbutt, knocked down Juan. Oh, ouch. Wait, oh, here we go. Juan coming right at him. Oh, right now, we're looking at Mark Henry. He's not going to let him. This kid with a drop kick. Juan says, that's my drop kick to you, son. Here you go, sunny boy. And Mark, go! <laughs> Mark Henry got brought down. That's Juan right now. He's making everything happen here. But the kid, oh. The former WWE World Heavyweight Champion, US Champion, Tag Team Champion. Yes, this happened in my creative world. But he's back and he's making himself felt. And Mark Henry right now is being pushed down. He's never earned the Intercontinental Championship. He's trying to get it out, but not like that. Power bomb by Mark Henry. Again, trying to earn it, man. He's trying to earn this for his first ever Intercontinental Championship. And it's going to be tough against the world's strongest man because the world's strongest man likes to fly. Oh, God damn. That's it. He's dead. That's that cross a couple rib bones. Jobber match. One, two, and a kick out, though, by Juan. That wants to crush his red. That's Mark Henry right now. He's taking control of Juan's rustiness in the ring. He hasn't been in that ring in about a month since uh, King of the Ring. Knee to the face right there. Look at him just punching him, punching him. Wait a second. Here we go. Juan's like, I got this. I got this. DDT. Juan's building up that momentum here. He's saying, you know what? I got this. Boom. And now here it is, the kid, can he fly? And oh, Mark Henry says, you're not flying tonight, buddy boy. Look at the strength of Mark Henry. The strength, man, of Mark Henry coming into play here tonight. Juan's a little rusty right now. He's rusty. He is rusty. And Mark Henry lifting him up, but Juan's like, let's try something else. Face buster right there. Oh, now needs to figure himself out how to take down, how to take down this man. And look at oh, Juan not, oh, he's able to hold on now. Mark Henry, though, no. Henry's in trouble here. Mark Henry in trouble because Juan is on his freaking highness. But oh, he hurt himself on that one. But the Intercontinental Championship on the line. Juan dropping those feet right there. And here comes the, oh, he missed that one. Henry's like, I got my ass out of here. Look at him right here. Oh, using the, f just punching the bejeez out of him. Why he punching the bejeez out of him? And then look at Mark Henry's strength yet again. Coming into play again. The man is going high risk. This isn't what you want to see on. Oh, he got knees right there. Yes, put the knees up. That's how you do it. That's how you do it. One says, here we go. Let's try this. Oh, my God, no. His, oh, his idol is Eddie Guerrero. He pays tribute to him with these three right here. This is the world's strongest three amigos right here. And look at the kid. The three amigos. His idol, he immortalizes Eddie Guerrero. One, two. And a kick out the hole by Mark Henry. The championship still staying in the hands of Mark Henry for now. Juan sees this one right here. Sees the chance. Says that's a little froggy, Sunny Boy. One high risk, and oh no, Mark Henry says, What do you think you're doing, boy? Mark Henry's got him. No, world's strongest slam. World's strongest slam. That is it. That's it. The boy's dream is over. Pinfall, roll break saves it. Saves Mark Henry. I mean, saves Juan and Mark Henry right now. Oh no. No, 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 oh, God. Jesus. Oh, God, oh, God, oh, God, not again. Another world's strongest slam. Mark Henry is destroying this kid. Have you wanted a piece of me, buddy boy? 
And oh, you missed that one. And here comes Juan back again. Juan, you've received two world's strongest slams. You gotta stay down. Backbreaker on Mark Henry. Juan's like, I feel a little bit better here. Let's get these one going. Juan's got him here. He's lifting him up. Lifting him up. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, brain buster. Brain buster. Mark Henry's in trouble. Juan's like, I've got these. Juan's lifting up Mark Henry. How do you do it? How do you do it? Spin for one, two, and a kick out though by Henry. Mark Henry kicking out. How the hell do you kick out of this? Wait, what's he doing here? What is this? A mission move. Look at this. Oh, he's got Henry. Mark Henry. Mark Henry. I'm going to tap. Henry's going to tap. Henry's tapping. Mark Henry's tapping. We have a new Intercontinental Champion. Juan comes back, man, from his sabbatical, and guess what? He becomes the Intercontinental Champion. Rightfully so, what he deserved from last week, last month's screw job of him. He, he had that Intercontinental Championship. He was just screwed by Riley Sparks. Now he's telling Riley's world, hey, look who the new champion is, baby. New Intercontinental Champion here at Money in the Bank. And there it is, man. He is enjoying his championship win. He is the champion. That is how you do it, man. That's how you do it. You become Intercontinental Champion. Money in the Bank just full of surprises tonight. Cesaro wins. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Big time surprises. Juan is your new Intercontinental Champion. And he is back on Friday night. Oh, yeah. Dig it. Go! It is women's championship time. We've already seen one title change hands tonight. We might be seeing that yet again. AJ Lee, the craziest diva in the locker room, will be challenged by the original crazy and Nikki James here tonight at Money in the Bank. AJ being accompanied by the former United States champion, but a man who will be in the Money in the Bank in the ladder match tonight. Dolph Ziggler on the SmackDown side. But AJ Lee. The women's champion will face a former women's champion in Mickey James. Here it comes. This is crazy. Original crazy. Mickey James. Mickey James being accompanied by Trish Stratus. Trish has brought Mickey back because she believes Mickey will be the woman that can restore faith in the women's division here in the WWE. But I don't know why Trish doesn't believe that AJ can do it. AJ, you know, she calls AJ a little girl playing in the big women's uh, division. And Mickey is apparently the woman that will take that t uh, the championship from AJ Lee here at Money in the Bank. Will it happen? I've got a funny feeling, even if she can't, that we have not seen the last. That these women will keep wrestling for this title. Even if AJ loses, I feel like this is going to be a feud that's going to keep going and going and going. And I'm not saying it's bad because I'd love to see Mickey James and AJ Lee go at it. But Money in the Bank could be their very first encounter. We could keep seeing them go at it. AJ has been the champion 
Well, since about a week before, two weeks before the Elimination Chamber. So she's been holding that championship for quite a while. She is the longest current champion in the WWE right now. Yeah, that includes the guys, too. AJ and Mickey, give me a second. Give me a second. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. Oh, dog trying to get in my house, and I can't let him in the house. I can't let him in my room. All right, here we go. AJ and Mickey about to go at it one on one. These two ladies dressed in uh, little short shorts and little high top shirt. I don't know what else to say about this. But here we go, Mickey and AJ, two uh, ladies who want that championship. Two ladies who are a little crazy, a little different than everyone else. A little tap in the head. Some of these ladies will do some crazy things. AJ Lee has thrown two guys before onto a table. Mickey James has stalked Trish Stratus before in the past. So this all just gets a little crazy. There has been kiss there's been a lot of crazy things and Mickey James right there with the shot to the back. But now AJ comes at her. And here comes AJ Dodge. And here we go. Look at AJ. Look at AJ now. Boom! Close line there by AJ Lee. Oh. Dolph Ziggler, you know, I he does not look very happy. He lost the championship earlier to Ryback. And power bomb! And uh, now he has to go into a Money in the Bank match, not 100%, and he has to defeat those six other guys, those five other guys in that championship. Uh, oh, and a chance to get a championship match as Mickey James just throws AJ Lee right over. Knees to the back of AJ here. Another knee to the back. Yep, another knee to the back by Mickey. Mickey making sure that AJ's back is going to be a very painful position here. Ah, oh, kick, nice kick. Boom, shot to the leg. Another shot to the leg. Another shot to the leg. She just oh, but look at now. Mickey says, "Ah, oh, you're not gonna work on that leg like, like I'm playing. I'm working against your leg." Another shot to the midsection. The back is the section where uh, Mickey seems to be going after her here. But these two ladies, man, I'm telling you, they are crazy. They are wild. You don't want to get on the bad side. So, Mr. Ziggler, you might be seeing AJ Lee's crazy side if you dump her. So you 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 just are gonna be stuck with her for the rest of your life. As here comes Mickey. <laughs> Bulldog right there, but Mickey James, Mickey James going high risk. Here we go, Mickey James doing the first big move. Splash Mountain. Pinfall, one, two. And a kick out, though, by A.J. Lee. That came very close. A.J. Lee could have been taking care of business. Now A.J. Lee gets a little move right there. We're looking for the pin, but Ziggler is distracting the referee. And A.J. like, hey, come on, Ziggy, what are you doing? But Mickey James with a freaking wicked clothesline. Ricky, here we go, here we go. Bam, knee the, oh, knee the face. Knee the face, and here it comes. Oh, Mickey trying to go after Ziggler, and Ziggler was like, hey, I didn't do anything. And RJ Lee jumps up. AJ Lee, come on, AJ. AJ, got high for hops. And oh, but look at Mickey. Mickey James is like, I'll do whatever the hell I want to do. More shots in the midsection. AJ Lee in a lot of trouble right now. Mickey James taking it to AJ right here. And this is exactly what Trish Stratus wanted to see from Mickey. She wanted to see Mickey James just take it right to AJ Lee. As look at what Mickey's doing here. Throwing her right into the freaking ring ropes. AJ Lee needs to figure out a way of this predicament because she is getting her ass whooped right now by Mickey James. This is not a good situation for her at all. She is getting whooped. She is getting beaten. She is getting destroyed here by Mickey James. Look at these shots right here. Look at Mickey back to work again on AJ. There, that bulldog. Now here's a kick to the back yet again. Come on, these, these kicks are bad. And now again, here we go. Oh, another kick to the midsection. Mickey James in full control of AJ Lee. This is exactly what Trish wanted to see. She wanted to see Mickey just destroy AJ. And she's getting it from Mickey. AJ has taken down Karma before, but I didn't think Mickey would uh, would be doing this to AJ. AJ 
Yeah, that was Extreme Rules. Remember, AJ wanted that. AJ went crazy. She said, I won an Extreme Rules match against Karma. She got it. And bringing her down again, Mickey J, making sure that AJ can't do nothing. Here comes the, here comes Miss Crazy. Here comes AJ Lee, the Black Widow, whatever you want to call her. She go crazy, go wild. AJ Lee throws her whole body around that one. AJ Lee is flying out there. She flew after. She flew out there. And oh, my God. Wow, I don't know what to say. That was a little crazy. AJ Lee is crazy, but that's not the right kind of crazy. More shots to the midsection again. AJ Lee is taking down people like Vicky Guerrero, Karma, Lay Cool. She's, anybody has gotten in her way, she has said, come down, come on, and face me. The Bella Twins were ones in her way, and she took them out. So AJ Lee has not stepped away from a challenge, but this could be the challenge that takes it away from her. It's AJ Lee right now trying to get everything going her way. And AJ Lee better watch yourself because here comes Mickey. Here comes Mickey, but look at AJ. Here comes AJ. AJ with a shot to the a shot to the back of the head. AJ Lee, nice kick. Miss Lee, you better put her out here. AJ Lee. What? Uh, what up, son? That is what you do. AJ Lee saying that's my championship right there. Pinfall. One, two. And Mickey James barely kicking out at two. The next one could be it for Mickey. Mickey better watch yourself because AJ Lee. Oh. AJ Lee is an oh, deep, deep, deep doo-doo right here because look at this. Ah, oh, deep doo-doo by uh, Mickey James right now. Mickey is killing AJ here. And look at AJ though. AJ's got herself back in this one again. And what's she doing? What is these what is this diva doing? AJ Lee is thinking high risk time and Mickey's like, what? And oh AJ got her again. Here's a pinfall one, two, and a kick out though by Mickey James. Both Divas trying their best, man. Both women trying to see who's going to be the women's champion by the end of this. AJ Lee lost on, on Wednesday Night Divas to Natalia, And that was a big loss right there. It was a triple threat match with all the Divas of their champions. One, two, and a kick out though. As Mr. Ziggy says, I got your back right here, AJ. Kick to the midsection. Ziggler has been ejected. Well, Ziggler, go. Go get ready for your match in that ladder match, man. Ziggler has been ejected from this match. AJ Lee, though, looks like she's doing a little bit better here without Ziggy as AJ now has control. There is a nice one right there. Where's AJ going? AJ. Oh, trying to go after Trisha. Trisha, hey, I didn't do anything. Oh, 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 no. We might be having a look at Mickey. She's, she's like, I got her here. Shot to the midsection. She drags AJ's body. Lifeless body. AJ's in trouble here. Oh, but AJ says nope. AJ's got her here. What does AJ do? AJ said do it again. Come over here, little girl. AJ and Mickey. Woo! AJ and Mickey going at it, man. This is a chance for the women's championship. Trish Stratus. The black winner. There it is. AJ's got it. AJ's got it. Mickey's over there. Oh, but look at look at Trish over there blocking. Look at AJ telling, hey, get her out of here. AJ Lee, Shining Wizard, Shining Wizard. AJ Lee, Women's Champion. And oh, God, and Trish is like, hey, ref, look at over here. And oh, come on. And Mickey James, no, not the kiss of death. The kiss of death. The kick to the back of the head. AJ Lee is out. One. Two, and a kick out by AJ, AJ surviving here. AJ Lee is still in this one. AJ and Mickey going out of here. The title on the line. Oh, look at Mickey again stopping AJ Lee as Trish Stratus is out there. And now Mickey James wants AJ to get up, get up, get up. Mickey's trying to put this one to bed. Oh no, not this. Look at Mickey. Oh. AJ Lee in trouble. Mickey James like, I'm not done with you yet, woman. Oh, she's bringing her out. Another clothesline. Is this really necessary? And she missed that one. AJ got her here. AJ bringing down Trish. AJ, high risk. And oh, she got out the way. Come on, this isn't right. 
This isn't right. This isn't right. This ain't right. This ain't right. And that kick to Burton down AJ. And AJ, oh, I think Mickey was thinking that DDT yet again. Now AJ now says, how about one of these? AJ's got her. AJ Lee, looks like she's set. AJ Lee trying to get the go in here. One, two, and now oh, Trish is in the ring. Trish is in the ring. Mickey, what the, oh, Mickey gets kicked right there by AJ. And now AJ's like, hey, what the hell's wrong with you, woman? And now here it is, Shining Wizard on Trish. Shining Wizard on Trish Stratus. Trish Stratus got Shining Wizard. AJ now has her. Mickey James, Shining Wizard. Two of them, two of them. AJ Lee, one, two, three before Trish can get up and distract them off. AJ Lee is still your woman's champion. AJ Lee gives the shiny wizard to Trish Stratus and a one to Mickey. Mickey's just watching. Look at AJ. Bam! Brings down Trish because she knew Trish would try to interfere somehow. And then she takes down the shiny wizard to Mickey and Trish before she could get up and, 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 and interact in this matchup and interfere and distract the referee. AJ Lee gets the three. And AJ Lee is telling Trish, another one down where eventually you're going to have to step up to the challenge and face me. But AJ Lee for now will be celebrating her win and we'll see what the future holds. Who will be going after AJ Lee? Will it still be Mickey and Trish? I know Trish will do whatever she can. Eventually AJ saying, eventually it's gonna be you and me, Trish, going for this women's championship. And why not at SummerSlam? Why not at the biggest event of the summer? Are we witnessing the creation here tonight of the biggest feud for Trish Stratus and AJ Lee in the deepest division? Next match, please. I don't know what it is, but you tell me. All right, this is the last. Money in the bank and it looks like Ziggler changed his tights from blue to pink. Maybe the pink wasn't working and maybe the blue is what he thinks will work for him. But Dolph Ziggler. Oh man, it's uh for him it's been a tough night. AJ had a good night, she won her match, but for Ziggler he lost his United States Championship. He now will be part of the SmackDown roster, which isn't bad because the SmackDown roster is amazing. That's a true A brand. But Ziggler what can Ziggler do tonight? Can Ziggler win this? Remember, he is he's not at 100%. Everyone else is almost there at 100%. They're like at 99%. But Ziggler's like about 50%. He got he got destroyed by Ryback. Ryback tried to kill him tonight. That's how it was. But now Ziggler has a chance here at the Money in the Bank one. This will be the last ladder match of the night. I know, I know. It will be the last Money in the Bank match until WrestleMania, which will happen in three, four years. In three to four years, we'll have another WrestleMania here. <laughs> oh, here's my favorite part. This is my favorite part. This is my favorite part. Let me do it. Let me do it. Let me do it. Just the uh, what? Hey, I'm getting. Ch I got robbed again. I got robbed again. I'm no. I'm doing it. This is Mexico. El patron. El mexicano. El hombre con un scarf. El es el excelencia, el excelencia. El es el campeón del mundo. Va a ser el campeón del mundo en la bank. El es Alberto. Okay, it wasn't that strong at the Rio part, but I think we understand what is going down. Alberto Del Rio is trying to become a Money in the Bank winner yet again and cash it in and become World Heavyweight Champion. Uh, again, the World Heavyweight Champion. Well, again, we don't know Christian's status right now. We don't know. We should know, but apparently we do know because Christian said, hey, there's people within the WWE officials that want to take that championship away from him. And they, are, they would love to use his injury as a chance to take it away from him. Christian said him and his doctor are the only ones that know the results. 
and they will let us know this Friday night. And hey, if I'm Del Rio, if I win this, I'm waiting patiently. If he says, if he says that he's good to go, go right after him that night and take him down, or take them out after that match. Anyways, that's what I think. But a man who is a former World Heavyweight Champion, a former WWE Champion, and not only is he those two things. He's actually a former undisputed champion. He defeated The Rock and Stone Cold Steve Austin. He is the man with the light and bright jacket. He is the one, the only, the Ayatollah of Rock and Roller, Chris Jericho. Chris Jericho hoping here is his night to climb up the ladder, become Mr. Money in the Bank, and hell, even become World Heavyweight Champion yet again. He's a new face on Friday Night SmackDown, and why not have a new beginning with the World Heavyweight Championship? This man could carry a brand if he wanted to. He invented, he invented carrying a brand. He invented this matchup, the Money in the Bank match. He invented it, okay? Yes, yes. Chris Jericho looking to get it going here, man. Climb up that ladder, become Mr. Money in the Bank. Oh, baby. Here comes a man who, well, is the underdog and is the, the guy no one is picking this match. It is Tyson Kidd, a former graduate of the Heart Dungeon. Oh, man, can Tyson Kidd overcome the odds and finally reach a potential he has not ever seen? Can Tyson Kidd tonight become Mr. Money in the Bank? He's put his attack team career behind him right now. But he's still, you know, he put him in the, he put it on the side. Sorry, he had to put it behind him. He put him on the side. And it, it has affected his relationship with Justin Gabriel, but he knows that if he's able to get this, oh baby, they will be doing things, man. They will. Here it is, man, a man who used that money in the bank briefcase to become a long reigning World Heavyweight Champion. I know it wasn't, okay, Royal, running, Royal Rumble to King of the Ring, about a six month reign. So here comes a man who used it. He was a former World Heavyweight Champion and he, did, he was a Mr. Money in the Bank briefcase holder. It is Shelton Benjamin. And the man always shines in these matches, man. The man always does the incredible. The man is a human highlight reel. He is what Vince Carter is to slam dunks. This is what Shelton Benjamin is. Yes, the old Vince Carter, not, not the current one, but he is the human highlight machine. This man will do things that will make you go, oh, did he, oh my, you know, all that good stuff. What does Shelton have in store for us here tonight at Money in the Bank? Can Shelton climb it up again? He wants it. He said this, he wants this again, man. The queen. The man of a thousand themes, the man known as the Barrett Barrage. It is Wade Barrett. It is Wade Barrett, man, a former European champion who defended that championship every single week, and he was very successful until King of the Ring. But you know what? Wade Barrett said, I saw that. It was time to move on from the European champion and finally live up to my potential and become World Heavyweight Champion. Can tonight be Barrett's night? This is my favorite right here. This is my favorite to win the money in the bank. Boom, right there. If Barrett can deliver all those elbows to everyone and climb that ladder, oh my God, Wade Barrett will be our next World Heavyweight Champion. There you go, oh, Ziggler. Everyone's going after, uh, Everyone's picking out their own guys. Look at Ziggler goes out there, the gold standard. 
Those two guys, I'd love to see a match with those two guys going at We are seeing Curry at it. Look at, wait, Barrett's, Barrett's like, I want Ziggy. Give me Ziggler. And look at Ziggler. Oh, Ziggler and Shelton tagging up. Neckbreaker on Wade Barrett. They know who the main, they know who the guy to beat here is. Ziggler and Barrett over there. You got Shelton Benjamin with a chair. Bam, oh, but Tyson Kidd says, how about no? And you got the real and Jericho over there, man. Everyone just picked their dance partner here. And they're all just dancing along here as Tyson Kidd delivers an elbow to Benjamin. Del Rio, oh, Del Rio. Not a, again, too many people to do what you really want to do. This You can't make this into a wrestling match, Del Rio. You have to make this into a, just a destruction, destruct, destroying everything. And look at Ziggler with a dirty elbow to Jericho to help out Del Rio. And look at Ziggler beating down Wade Barrett right now. And Ziggler unloading his uh, anger right now. And Wade Barrett's like, I'm not going to let you do that. A big time punch by Barrett. And a big time face bust, uh, face first for Jericho there. And there's a ladder just being used again. This ladder is a weapon. Somebody, somebody stop Benjamin. And oh. And oh, look at that. Oh, neck breaker by Jericho on Barrett. Oh, shot to the midsection right there by Ziggy. Ziggy, Ziggy, DDT on the way, Barrett. And both men are going up. And look at this, look at this. Tyson Kidd falling off the ladder. First man off the ladder is Kidd. Neck breaker. And look at what Ziggler doing, what's Ziggy doing? Ziggy's thinking, let's get this one over, but look at Del Rio's like, ah. Oh. Kick to the mid, oh, kick to the face right there. God, look at that. And now both men going up again. Yeah, De he's going down, yes! Del Rio falls off now. Everybody is in trouble here. Everyone seems like they're trying to climb and people are falling down. What are these two guys doing? What are they doing? What are they doing? Jarrett. Oh, Shelton. Shelton's falling. And Benjamin. Oh, right on the ladder. Wade Barrett suplexes Tyson to get onto the ladder. How do you, why do you do that, man? Tyson Kidd is feeling the pain. Everyone's feeling the pain in this one here. Everyone's getting smacked around. It doesn't matter what your name is. And now, Ziggler thrown into the ladder by Barry. Everyone is just getting hurt. Everyone expected to get hurt, but my God. Way Barry, big time boot onto Ziggler. And look at that. And onto the ladder, he falls right on the ladder. Wade Barrett is using the ladder as his weapon here. And wait to change on Ziggler. Wade Barrett says here, there it is, look at that bull hammer elbow. Wade Barrett is knowing exactly what to do with his elbows. He's setting up the ladder here, setting it up. And look who's climbing the ladder, Barrett, Barrett. Wait a second, both men might be going down. And look at Ziggler, says both of you are going down. Oh my God. Ziggler has just dropped Barrett and, uh, and Del Rio off the ladder. Everybody needs to realize right now the real threat. And oh, look at this. Now Barrett says here. Suplex, got him. And look at Wade Barrett. Wade Barrett and Ziggler says, let's team up and bring down Jericho. Oh, I shot to the, oh God, that, that's hurt. Jericho right now getting destroyed by Barrett and Ziggler. Wait a second, wait a second, look at Wade! Oh, <laughs> Ziggler on the ladder. Ladders are being broken, people are being broken here. Z Shelton is setting up a, t come on man, don't set up the table, what are you thinking? Oh, ouch. Oh man, this is crazy. This is crazy, man. And oh my God, this is just not right. Everything is going down like cuckoo crazy, man. Cranky crazy. And look at this. Just don't do this, man. Don't do this. This isn't necessary. This is my, don't do this to my table. Don't do this to my table. What are you thinking, man? Ziggler. 
It's about to be wasteland. Wasteland by Barry. Oh my God. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Look at Wade's like nobody's climbing this goddamn ladder right now. Ziggler has been laid out. Ziggy is down. Wade Barrett right now delivering a beatdown. A chair against the ladder. What's about to happen here? As it's Jericho and Barrett going up. Both men up there. And oh, there it goes. There it goes. Jericho went down now. Look at Ziggler says here you're going down, Wade. See what happens for putting me through a goddamn table. I'm gonna bring you down like that. Look at Ziggler. You know. Oh, but Jericho says I saw that one coming a mile away. As everybody here. And just wondering who will become Mr. Money in the bank. I'm trying to figure out who's going to get hurt next. Who's going to get smacked by a ladder. Who's going to make the next best spot in the match. And look at Barrett. Go on the freaking chair, man. Wade Barrett climbing this. Wade Barrett climbing it. And oh, he just runs right into the ladder to bring down Barrett. And Barrett's like, what the hell's wrong with you? Barrett's thinking, I don't know what the hell's wrong with him. There's a win. Of change and look at look at Ziggler in trouble. There's a wasteland and look, oh, look at Del Rio now using that. And Wade Barrett's like, let's climb that ladder, Del Rio. Let's see who's got the let's see who's the better man here. Zig Del Rio and and Wade Barrett on top of that ladder. And oh, Jericho says, how about both of you fall off again? Wade Barrett and Del Rio are both out. And Wade Barrett's like, I got this. I got this. And Barrett's like, you bastard. Codebreaker! Codebreaker! Ziggler! Zigzag! Ziggler! Zigzag on Del Rio! Ziggler! The man who wants to always steal the show. The man who always steals the show. Going it. Climbing it. Falling off, though. I don't know if he'll make it. I don't know if he'll make it. I don't know if he won't make it. Ziggler won't make it. But what's Ziggler doing? Ziggler elbow. Knocks down Tyson Kidd. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Del Rio is calling for Barrett's instruction here. Ooh, Ziggler. What is Ziggy doing? Ziggy, what are you doing? The leg drop misses it. Del Rio has got the pile driver on Wade Barrett. What do you do? What do you do? And look at Tyson Kidd right now. Tyson, oh my god. Shelton Benjamin with the rock bottom off the freaking ladder. Oh my god, I am losing it. I'm losing it. I am losing it. Another fisherman hook. Oh my god, I don't know what to say right now. This match has been amazing. Bro, Ziggler. Ziggler knocks down Barrett. And oh, Wade Barrett in trouble with Jericho. And Ziggler. And both Jericho and Ziggler teaming up with the neck breaker on Wade Barrett. You've got, I don't know why Jericho's obsessed with taking down Wade Barrett, but he's got him. Oh, Ziggler right now with the elbows. Look at these elbows by Ziggler. Everybody here is just doing what they need to try to do their best right here. Everyone's hurting, though. That's the one thing you can't take away. A kick right there. And wait, wait, what's Ziggler doing? Ziggler's doing it while nobody's paying attention. No one's paying attention, but Tyson Kidd says, how about I do? And look at this. And that is how you do it. That is how you do it. Ziggler. 
trying to climb this one and take are falling down. Wade Barrett wins a change. Wade Barrett now thinking it's time for me to climb. And now Barrett's not gonna get this one. Wait, what, what are these two guys doing? What are they doing? Both men up here. Dale, oh my God, Barrett is in trouble. Ziggler dropping off Floyd Barrett. And Ziggy, elbow from the top. And look at Ziggler setting up the ladder yet again. Ziggler trying to climb the Ziggler. Everyone seems to be in their battle with somebody. Ziggler trying to get it. Ziggler's got it. Ziggler's holding on to it. Ziggler got it. Ziggler. Ziggler's money. Ziggler's money. Ziggler is money in the bank. Dolph Ziggler gets it as Jericho is slowly approaching him. He pulls it off. And Jericho is in disbelief. Dolph Ziggler is Mr. Money in the Bank. Everyone, hell, they threw their bodies, they threw their souls. Kid threw his soul, Sheldon threw his soul, Del Rio threw his soul, Mary threw his soul, Jericho. Everybody gave it all they had, but look at Dolph Ziggler. While everyone had their opponent looking at it, he took advantage and look at him. And then bam, Ziggler is money. Ziggler and Cesaro are money. Oh my God, are we looking at our future world heavyweight champion and Dolph Ziggler? I, I, I told you, careers are made, are made at Money in the Bank, and Ziggler has done it again. He is a Money in the Bank winner yet again. Oh my goodness gracious, what a Money in the Bank it has been. Cesaro and Ziggler are walking out as, as the Mr. Money in the Bank. They will be walking out with their briefcase and the chances at the big time titles. He is here to show the world. Ziggler has done it. Ziggler has done it. Ziggler has done it. Delta Shield. This was a tough match for CM Punk and Daniel Bryan to get. They wanted the whole shield, but they're getting two thirds of it. We saw earlier at the pre show the other shield member known as Roman Reigns destroying Zack Ryder. What does that do for Punk and Daniel Bryan's psyche in this one? The shield, though, they've tried to, well, they said they haven't been avoiding it. They just said that Paul Heyman believes that, hey, the shield are a commodity and they should be used correctly. We'll see, man. Here we go, man. The one half of the straight edge goats. It is the leader of the no. yes movement in it. Well, he say no. He loves to he loves to tease the fans like this. I am no the fans scream yes, yes, yes. No. Yes, no. yes, 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 yes. The crowd is just thunderous here, man. The Phoenix, Arizona. The Phoenix Suns play. This is where the people chant yes. And Daniel Bryan wants a piece of the shield. Get it. Kick some ass, man. Do what you gotta do. Daniel Bryan and CM Punk will try to get two thirds of the shield out of their way here tonight. But with the, what Roman Reigns did to a fellow friend of theirs, Zack Ryder, I don't know how, this, how they're gonna be affected by that. Who knows what their psyche will be after that, though, because Roman Reigns destroyed Zack Ryder. And when I mean destroyed, I mean 
He destroyed him. He broke him. He killed him. He gave shots everywhere, man. And here comes a former WWE champion, a man who's made his career here in Money in the Bank. C. M. Punk. C. M. Punk made his career here, man, a couple years ago. He's also made championship because of Money in the Bank. He's won two Money in the Banks, and hell, he's been impressive when he does that, man. He wins those Money in the Bank. He takes care of business. C. M. Punk here tonight, now looking to bring down the Shield. He says, "Hey, is the mission right now? Bring down the Shield. Don't let the Shield gain any more momentum." And I don't know how that's I don't know how that's working because. Paul Heyman is truly behind the shield, and Paul Heyman and CM Punk, very good friends, but it looks like Heyman is really behind the shield and doesn't care for Punk. I wonder how Punk feels about that. CM Punk, man, wants to bring down the shield. The shield cost him a, his WWE Championship. The Punk was facing Brock Lesnar at Extreme Rules. Seth Rollins made his debut and made sure Punk could not win. Punk would go down. And the Shield, Dean Ambrose, would interfere in the match at Over the Limit with Seth Rollins and CM Punk. And then we ended up seeing Roman Reigns. And then Daniel Bryan got his ass kicked by Shield. So it, it's just been the Shield running rub shot. And Daniel Bryan and CM Punk saying, we're not going to take you. We're not just going to sit back and let you guys beat us down. And it's Bryan and Rollins to start this one. Bryan and Rollins who have... Quite the history right here, man. Seth Rollins bringing him down right here. Seth Rollins with the kick to the back. Seth Rollins. Okay, now let me set this up for you. There was a cruiserweight tournament for to see determine who would be next cruiserweight champion. Daniel Bryan and Sin Cara went through a lot for that one. They went through a lot. They went through a lot. In the final match, Paul Heyman would insert Seth Rollins at the end, and it was a cheap, cheap trick by by Heyman and Rollins. Rollins would win that match. Seth Rollins currently is the Cruiserweight Champion. And Daniel Bryan was screwed out of that championship, man. He wanted a gold, He wanted some gold to hold. Why not? Who doesn't want gold to hold? And there's a neck breaker by Daniel. And Daniel Bryan said, hey, that's just enough for this, man. I'm not going to take it. I'm, you think I'm just going to sit back and let you guys take it? No, I'm not going to take it. I'm going to come and I'm going to fight. And I'm going to make sure that CM Punk has the help. As look at Seth Rollins dropping on Daniel Bryan right there. Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose, The Shield. This is, this is where they fight. They fight on pay-per-view. That's how good apparently they say that, that Paul Heyman has treated them. And look at Seth Rollins. Look at Dean Ambrose. Oh, come on. That is stepping on Daniel Bryan. Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose right now are making sure that Daniel Bryan pays. The Shield. Not, this, is, this is how scary. This is how scary good I thought they were. Look at him choking Daniel Bryan. Help the, help the poor boy out. It's Dean Ambrose using the ropes elbow right there. Oh man, look at Dean Ambrose just going at it right now with Daniel Bryan. DDT. Whoa. Pshaw, he shot him. He shot him. But now here comes Daniel. Yes, come on, Daniel. Figure your way out here. Daniel Bryan with that elbow. D Bryan. Trying to get himself in here. Daniel Bryan, CM Punk today said, hey, you know what? We're going to walk into the building with ma with ma with matching tights, matching everything. Red and black are our attack game here tonight. We're going to just attack with that. As Punk and Daniel Bryan are wearing the same kind of tights, which is amazing because I've never done that before. I don't really use the color tights that much. As CM Punk now going high risk. Daniel's thinking that you got to figure this one out. Punk moves up, but look at Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose getting out the way. Ambrose is coming. Rollins. Here comes Seth Rollins on that knee. That knee, that knee could have brought a big time pain to CM Punk. That was Rollins and Dean Ambrose. Now I have CM Punk over there. What, well, I don't know, CM Punk should come in and just start destroying everyone. I thought that's what the game was here. But again, Ambrose and Rollins, just the shield. This is what they do, man. This is what they do. And this is what they do. Look at this GDT. DDT. Dean Ambrose, 
neckbreaker on Punk, man. These guys, Punk and Brian want a piece of the shield, and they're getting it. They're getting it, but they're not showing me anything right here. But here comes here comes Punk. This is what I'm, this is what he needs to do. CM Punk now. Punk lifting him here. Here you go. Look at CM Punk. Backbreaker on Dean Ambrose. Another kick into the back. CM Punk. Here it is again. Another one. Another one. Backbreaker. Punk. Is God look at him telling look at him telling Rollins, look what I'm gonna do to you. Throw Ambrose right there, why don't you? Punk! Knee! Big time beat foot right there. Punk and Ambrose going out of here. This is the match I've been wanting to see. Now Ambrose stalks him out. But look at now, Punk says, here we go. Punk with this kick right there. This is what Punk does, and I think Punk thinks it's time for that elbow. But look at Esau. Esau what Rollins was thinking. And Ambrose knocks down Punk. And now wait, CM Punk with the reversal. Punk says, I saw what's coming out here. DDD, CM Punk. What's Punk thinking? Punk is thinking elbow time. Elbow time. Elbow time, but no, look at that. Dean Ambrose gets out of the ring. And now Ambrose coming right back out there here. Ambrose, neck breaker here. And this is the tag team matchup I've been wanting to see, man. This is the matchup I wanted to see more than the tag team championship match. Yeah, the tag team championship was one that I wanted, really wanted to see, but these guys are going at it. Look at these. Look at Ambrose using Seth Rollins' foot as a weapon right there. Kick to the midsection. You better watch out, man. And look at Seth Rollins. Says, here you go, Daniel. Psych! Neckbreaker in Seth Rollins. And look at that. Trying to knock down Daniel Bryan. And he is knocking out Daniel Bryan. Knee to the face. Nice. Look at look at Rollins. Look at he does what he does, man. This guy is very impressive. Very impressive. Seth Rollins for the pin one. Done a kick out. And see a punk right now. Look, sees Rollins over there. And oh, he missed that one. And now Seth Rollins. Oh, there's a kick. Oh, here it comes. Here comes Seth. Ah. Here, there wasn't Seth, and that's exactly what Seth did. But here comes CM Punk. Punk says, here you go. You want a piece of this, Rollins? Wait, what the? Oh, my. He caught him. How did Punk catch Rollins? Rollins in trouble. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Go to sleep. Oh, but the rope break saves him. Look at, look at Punk. Says, come on, ref. Wait, look at Rollins, though. Oh, come on. Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins got GTS. And now he says, I'm getting out of this, man. Come on, come back in this one, Ambrose. He got GTS and was saved by the rope break. As CM Punk saying, that's a bunch of bush. As now Dean Ambrose right now sees this right here. And look at Dean Ambrose. Oh, he's pointing the gun at Punk. He just shot Punk. Oh, that knee. That knee could be a pinfall. One, two, and look at Daniel Bryan for the save. Daniel Bryan not gonna let his partner go down. Dean Ambrose with the DDT though. Ah, Dean Ambrose right now trying to figure out a way to beat CM Punk here at Money in the Bank. They are, this is what they need to do. This is the weakest member right here of the team. Just go right out there. Dean Ambrose right now letting Seth Rollins recuperate because Rollins has received a go to sleep already in this match. Was saved by the rope break. And look at CM Punk says, here we go. Switch a little quick, 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 quick. And a kick out though. CM Punk, here we go. But look at all, oh, look at the sidewalk slam by Dean Ambrose. But wait, CM Punk says, here you go. And oh, but look at Dean Ambrose making sure that Punk does not get anything going there. But look at Punk here. Punk, and oh, he missed the knee right there. And wait a second, and look at Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose is like, what do you think, Daniel, huh? What do you think? Do you think this is a fair match for you? Oh, look at him just choking Punk. 
see him. Punk needs to figure it out, man. Look at CM Punk trying to make sure that Dean Ambrose can't make himself here. And he missed a kick right there as Dean Ambrose getting out the way. And Dean Ambrose going out there big time. Calls up, but CM Punk says, how about no? And now the switcheroo. Oh, but look at Ambrose. Ambrose says, you want to play that game too? But look at Daniel Bryan making sure that his partner CM Punk would be safe but the big time clothesline. Find Dean Ambrose to make sure this stops. And look at Dean Ambrose says, here you go. You think you're better than us? I rake, a dirty I rake right there by Dean Ambrose. And Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose doing what they need to do to beat Punk. And Punk is getting destroyed right now. And Seth Rollins is here. Frog spots, he misses it though. CM Punk, what are you thinking, man? What are you thinking here? Punk, what is he thinking? What's he thinking? And he knocks down. CM Punk is feeling it. Punk says, come on, baby boy. Punk, kick to the midsection. CM Punk, feeling it right here. Springs down, Rollins. Rollins is going down. Going down like a damn fiddle. Neck breaker by CM Punk. And CM Punk says, here you go, D. Bry. Bring in the tag, Daniel Bryan, yes, yes, yes. As Daniel Bryan says, here, drop like a fly. Drop like a fly, Seth. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Flying go, oh, but look at Seth Rollins. Gets out the way, and oh, Seth goes after Punk. And Seth Rollins now. It's got Daniel. Daniel, though. Daniel says, here you go. Daniel Bryan. Russian leg sweep. Ah, oh, big time kick. And look at, look at Daniel. Daniel Bryan says, come on. Come on, Rollins. Come on. And now... And now Seth Rollins says, here you go, Dean. Get your ass in this ring. And all brings down Daniel. And all he misses Punk. Punk says, here you go. We're not paying attention. And look, at, look at Daniel. He's got him. He's got him. The yes lock. Yes lock. Yes. And all but Seth Rollins able to save him. Oh, come on, man. Dean Ambrose is like, I've got this one. The Hound of Justice. No, oh, the knee. Pinfall. One, two, and CM Punk. CM Punk. And look at, look at Punk. Punk is like, let me get into this, some of this action, baby boy. And now look at Daniel says, here, you want a piece of it? You got two. Everyone is just ring is just gone crazy. Look at him. Oh, Daniel Bryan. Come on, flying goat. The flying goat is beasting it. These people here don't know what they're missing out. This is quite a match of these people aren't up their seats. You're crazy for not being up on your seats. Daniel's like, yes, yes, yes. Oh, man. Here we go. Woo! Daniel Bryan jumps it. Daniel Bryan has got just stomping. He's got, oh, he's got Dean Ambrose feeling the pain right here. Daniel's like, I'm going high risk. And flying goat and Bryan there it is. The flying goat. Daniel Bryan, pinfall. One, two, and all oh, Seth Rollins able to save Dean Ambrose. These guys are just saving each other. And Dean Ambrose with a huge time punch. And Dean is saying, come on, Seth. Do what you do, man. Do what you do. You're the guy. You're the guy that brought down Daniel Bryan. Do it again. Seth Rollins right now thinking, how do I put him out of here? The suplex. Daniel says, switch it to Rue, though. I'm not going to let that happen to me. I'm not going down like that. I'm not playing that game. And Seth Rollins is like, oh, I'm not playing this game anymore. Seth Rollins, high risk. And he missed that one. And Daniel says, here, how about this? And the ass lock. Yes. Yes. Look at D. Look at oh, Seth Rollins so close though, to the ropes. And look at Daniel with that right there. You got the ring just, just exploding right now. Daniel Bryan. And look at Seth Rollins like, I've got this. And look at Daniel Bryan. 
And look at CM Punk's like, oh, you're getting in that ring with my boy, Daniel. And Daniel Bryan's like, that's exactly what I'm talking about, CM Punk. Don't let him rest. Don't let him get any rest. Don't let the boy think he can take a break in this one here. That's what you need to see right there. Look at Daniel. Daniel's thinking, come on, Rollins, I need you to get up here. CM Punk is all oh, gonna go, oh, Daniel. Daniel took out the wrong guy. Daniel Bryan's like, what the? He said, what are you doing, Punk? And now look at Rollins. Throwing Daniel Bryan over there. And Seth Rollins is like, whatever. Wow. Wow, come on, man. This is some bull crap. Wow. I, I don't know what to say right now, man. The Shield used Daniel Bryan and CM Punk's inexperience to make sure that they are attacking each other. And CM Punk's like, come on, we had this one. Dean Ambrose, ah, oh, headbutt. Look at Dean Ambrose just choking the life out of Daniel Bryan. And look at Dan, oh, no, no, no. Dean Ambrose is just for Daniel Bryan. Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. Oh, no, come on, Daniel. Brian is in a world of her right now. But look at Daniel switches her route. Daniel's got him. Daniel. Daniel. Oh, but look at the kick out by Ambrose. And look at Daniel. And now he's getting pinned by Dean. Dean Ambrose. Dean Ambrose. And a kick out though by Daniel. And oh, come on, man. My voice is being lost here with this great matchup right here. As Dean Ambrose makes a switch on Daniel Bryan. He's got him. He's got him. But now look at Daniel. So how about we make the switch? And Seth Rollins able to save Dean Ambrose. Everybody here is just going crazy. You don't know who's going to do this one. And there's a big time punch. And Daniel now says, how about this? A big time hit like that. And now Daniel says, I'm going high risk. I'm going to fly like a go. And oh, Dean Ambrose able to get out the way. I'm losing my voice here. This has just been one incredible matchup between these guys, man. And we still got a WWE Championship match later here. We still got a big time fatal, a big time battle royal for to see who the next number will be the world champion or the number one contender. That's Daniel Bryan right now. Look at Daniel. Yes, here we go. Yes. 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 And CM Punk says, do it, Daniel. It's your moment to shine. Daniel, CM Punk is still Daniel. It's your moment to shine. But I think Ambrose says, it's my moment to shine. Ambrose got him. Ambrose got him. Ambrose pinfall. One, two, three. Yes, the shield got it. They're walking out with the win. Oh my God, Daniel Bryan had the miss. He was going for that yes lock. Dean Ambrose knew what was gonna happen and he got the counter. And then look at that. Dean Ambrose face first, Daniel Bryan goes down. Punk couldn't make it. Seth Rollins making sure he was down.
The Shield have defeated the Flying Goats, the Straight Edge Goats. Punk and Brian are down, and something still tells me that Punk and Brian will do whatever to take down the Shield. That this is still not over. But Rollins and Ambrose, the Shield, surviving here at Money in the Bank. The Hounds of Justice have done it. They have done it, and they have defeated CM Punk and Daniel Bryan here tonight. What a match. What a match. It's a battle royal, battle four. I'm not 100% sure what this is, but it's a big time match up here, man. Jack Swagger, Cody Rhodes, Kane, and Riley Sparks. This past last night, actually, we saw on main event Riley Sparks possibly buying one of his competition in Kane. Possibly telling Kane, hey, you join us and we'll give you what you need. Money, success, and all this other good stuff. Just let me win tonight. Now the question is, Cody and Jack have had a big time feud, but they are former partners. Will they team Will they team up together to knock these two guys out and then have a one-on-one -on -one match? Or will the monster Kane and the former Intercontinental Champion Riley Sparks be too much for them? Big red monsters, a big time buy for Riley, and he has bought him here. He has bought himself a very well insurance policy right here in Kane, and he might be walking out as the winner here tonight. Oh god! I gotta, I gotta watch out for that. I gotta put some bacon on the side so he can cook my bacon when he does that because I get very hungry out here and I'd love to eat some bacon. But Jack Swagger just watching Kane. I don't know if Jack and Cody have had a chance to speak to each other, but if they have, they need to realize we're going to have to team up together to take these guys out or else they're going to take us out one by one and it's going to be them two at the end. Here comes Cody Rhodes and his mustache. Cody Rhodes, man, can he do it? In green here, man. He's in green tight. Everyone's in their green and blue tights here at Money in the Bank here in Phoenix, Arizona. Who will walk out with a chance to be the world, world heavyweight champion or the next number one contender? Imagine Swagger wins, like I've been saying it for months. Cesaro already has won. If Swagger wins and Christian is really injured and gone, Swagger's the new world heavyweight champion, and it's just a matter of time before Cesaro cashes in that WWE championship briefcase. I'm just saying, it could be the dawn of a new era, the, the All-Americans, the real Americans, the real Americans could be taking over the WWE, and some culture will be very happy with that. Oh, here comes the former Intercontinental Champion, Riley Sparks. I had a chance to speak to him about a couple of things, and uh, I do have his number. I texted him a couple of things. I texted him first. Why did you lose your title like this? Like, it was time for me to walk away from the Intercontinental Championship. I had outgrown it. I was more than that championship, and I wanted World Heavyweight Championship gold. I needed to move on to World Title gold. And that's as simple as that. I told him what about Juan's return here, and he was like, who, what? 
and he just went my old title that I don't want anymore. He took my sloppy seconds. I don't really care anymore. And I, I, I'm i glad he's focused himself on that and not moving his career forward like me. If he wants to live in that little section of his career, live in there. I don't care. He wrote a lot in the, he wrote a lot in the text. And I told him, what about Kane? He was like, in time, in time, you will see the plan. You will see what happens here tonight. I, I don't I don't know if that means Kane is part of Riley's Riley Sparks uh, line here or what? And wait, Riley goes right out there and, and Swagger going after Kane. Everyone's going after somebody here. And I think this is a... Oh, this is a battle royal, man. An over-the-top battle royal. As Kane right now. Kane and Riley. And look at look at Cody. Cody's making sure that, uh, that Swagger isn't taken out here. And oh, Riley says, uh, I'm making sure you guys don't take down. Don't take down my man, right, my friend. Oh, God. No, no, no. Swagger better watch himself here. Oh, Swagger protecting himself, though. And oh, here we go. Look at look at Cody. Cody drop kick right here. And look at Cody. Cody making sure that he's not alone here. Cody making sure that Swagger doesn't get eliminated. These two are protecting each other here. Well, Cody's protecting Swagger because he knows that if Swagger is eliminated, Cody will be all alone against these guys. And Kane is going down. And Riley better watch himself. And oh, look at Riley right here making sure that Kane isn't eliminated. Both guys have interest in these. They don't want to lose their friends in this one, man. They don't want to lose the guy that protect them. And look at Riley. And oh, look at, oh, look at Swagger. Oh, shots to the, oh, God. Drop kick by Cody, man. The top, a chance at the World Heavyweight Championship is on the line. And Cody better watch himself, because look at Kane. And that's how you save it. There it is. Bulldog. Boom. Swagger and Kane looking at each other here. Swagger is saying he's trying to get rid of Kane here because I don't want him in my ring anymore. And wait, look at Cody. Cody is like, come on, Swagger. And look at Kane. And oh, shot right there. And oh, kick right there. Swagger. And Cody could be on the verge of being eliminated because look at Riley. He's got him. He's got him. He's going to eliminate him. He's got him. Cody, come on. That's it for Cody. That's how you do it. Ah, oh, there's kicks, there's kicks, there's kicks. Everybody's got kicks. And look at this. Oh! And look at Sparks. Sparks and Kane right now are thinking, how do we get rid of Swagger? And look at Cody out of nowhere right there, making sure the save comes in for Jack. This one right here has the title match. Someone's going to win this. Someone's going to lose this. And Cody Rhodes drops a knee right there on Riley Sparks' face. And look at Swagger trying to make sure that Kane goes bye-bye. And Cody Rhodes making sure that Riley Sparks doesn't feel, hey, I can, I'm safe in this one because I got Kane. There's a kick right there, a knee right there. And look at Cody. Cody needs to realize what. And oh no, Swagger's gone. Swagger's gone. Look at, look at Cody. Cody's like, I got this. I've got this. And what's Riley doing? Riley's like, Riley's just watching. Riley's just watching as Kane's getting eliminated. Kane has been thrown out. Kane has been thrown out. And Riley's like, I do whatever I want. Oh, come on, Cody. Come on, man. And Cody's like, hey, I've got you here. Alabama Slammer. Cody Rhodes is like, come on, man. Come on. Come on. I'm putting you down right here. I'm trying to become World Heavyweight Champion. Cody's trying to become World Champion. And with a move like that, the love stash might just do it. And now, oh, wait, wait, wait. Riley. What's Riley thinking? What is he thinking? What's he doing here? No! Gunbreaker off! Oh god, no! No! No, 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 not this! No!
No, anything but this. Oh, Christian, please don't be injured. Please don't be injured. We cannot see Riley Sparks at the new World Heavyweight Champion. No, I don't want to see that. Cody, though, I thought he had him with that crossroads. He lifted him up, trying to get rid of him. And you look at Riley since I switch it around on you. And then a code breaker off the freaking, oh, man. No, come on. No, please, no. God, no. 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 Riley Sparks might be our next World Heavyweight Champion. No. No. Well, I hope Christian's good, but we'll find out on Friday night if we have a new World Heavyweight Champion or if Riley Sparks will face Christian on Friday night SmackDown for the World Heavyweight Championship. Oh, God, no. There's only one thing left here. That's the main event for the WWE Championship. Brock Lesnar and Kofi Kingston. Oh, no. Riley Sparks could be the man who will don the World Heavyweight Championship next. WWE Championship. It'll be held in uh, one fall matchup. And here comes the WWE Champion. Being accompanied by Paul Heyman. Been the champion since WrestleMania. He is the beast incarnate. He is Brock Lesnar. And Brock Lesnar, or should I say Bort Lesnar, has been defeating anybody and everyone. He said he came back to face new competition. He's had it in CM Punk, Randy Orton, Sheamus, and now Kofi Kingston. Brock Lesnar says he doesn't even see why he needs to have a match with a guy like Kofi. He doesn't to destroy him, not even in the same weight class. He doesn't even see it why. He says he wants a real challenge. And tonight, We'll see if Kofi can do that, but the WWE Championship on the line here. Here comes the challenger, the king of the ring himself. And being accompanied by the Raw General Manager who I have not seen since he got, since he got thrown off a of freaking stage. I mean, speared off of the stage by Roman Reigns. And it's Kofi Kingston, King Kofi. The underdog story here, can he pull off the victory here, man? He's gonna come to by edge, but can he pull it off, man? This is, he is, he is a way smaller guy than Lesnar. Lesnar, well, Lesnar's like, what, the, like Jupiter? And Kofi's like, like, like Mercury. It's a big size difference right there, but Kofi said, hey, it's not about the size of the, of the fighter, man. It's about the heart. It's about determination. And that WWE Championship, I'm probably never gonna get another chance at it. I want it now. The WWE Championship on the line. This is going to be good. There it is, man. The WWE Championship. Kofi Kingston having a good look at it. Brock's like, that's my title. What are you going to do about it? Ooh, goosebumps, goosebumps. This is it, this is the championship, man. Brock and Kofi. If I'm Kofi, I don't try to get, in, I'm not gonna get in a wrestling match with Brock because Brock, look at Brock, Kofi like, oh, here we go. Kofi's trying to bring the fight, but look at Lesnar. And Kofi, oh, look, Brock's gonna throw punches. And Kofi trying to throw that chop, but it's not gonna happen because Brock Lesnar fights you. He does not wrestle, he fights. And Kofi needs to realize he's in a fight here, man. And he needs to make this one last for a while. And look at this. Oh, God, Kofi Kingston. Brock Lesnar. 
Again, look how Brock just throwing Kofi like nothing. And Edge telling Kofi, get up, Kofi, get up. Be ruthless. You defeated the Big Show. You took down CM Punk in Chicago. You can do this, man. And Kofi, there it is, man. Kofi Kingston. Kofi's going to have to use that high risk tile, but look at Brock Lesnar. Brock with the clothes on to take down Kofi. Again, what did I tell you? Brock is not going to make this a wrestling match. He wants this to be a fight. He just wants to fight. Kofi's going to have to make this a match where he's just throwing himself. He's just making crazy things happen, but he needs to do it smartly. He needs to do these smart these moves precisely and smart. He did win the King of the Ring, so he's not that bad. And look at that suplex again, though, by Brock Lesnar. And Paul is telling him, just tell him, this is in competition. This is really your competition? Look at this. He's not your competition. With power bomb. Power bomb. Brock Lesnar and Paul Heyman have been saying Kofi is not a real competition. Kofi is nobody. And look at Brock. A kick out. And man, if I'm, if I'm Brock Lesnar, I'm thinking, man, this guy's nothing. And Brock and Paul Heyman have been saying Kofi Kingston should have gone after the world the title, the world title, and not the WWE Championship. Kofi Kingston, though, is the Wildcat, the Ghanaian, the Ghanaian Wildcat. And the man said, "Hey, I, I wanted to do something crazy and shocking, and I wanted to challenge Brock Lesnar for the WWE Championship. When again am I going to get a chance for the WWE Championship? Tell me when." Again, yeah, that's right, never again. And Kofi trying to make sure this is his time. He is now making the switches on his turn. And Brock Lesnar, though. Look at Brock. Now he's bringing it down to his turn right here. This is what he Brock wants to do. Stop it, Brock. Oh, my God, stopping Kofi. He's just trying to destroy Kofi. The crowd trying to get behind Kofi, but it's not happening because Brock Lesnar right now knows what's on the line. He knows his WWE Championship is on the line. He only fights when the WWE Championship is on the line. And look at Brock Lesnar right now. Oh, man, come on. This isn't fair at all. Brock Lesnar lifting up Kofi. Look at Kofi. Yes, Kofi says here. Brock, how about some of this magic? Kofi Kingston, the Wildcat, likes to do things that are crazy and unpredictable. False flash like that could be a good way to start things here. Kofi, stop it up, Brock. Kofi, high jumps, but look at Brock stops the high jumps. One, two, and I'll look at Edge. Edge says, I'll save you, buddy boy. And now Brock says, hey, Edge, get out of my way. There's a bulldog, though. That's how you do it. That's what you do. That's what I have to do. Edge saving, making sure that, hey, there's even in this matchup here. Paul Heyman's over there with Brock. Let's tell him, Brock, come on, Brock, you got this. Brock, though, switches it to a small package. Brock trying to get out of this one already. Brock trying to get out. And a kick out, though, at two by Kofi. I know what Kofi says. Oh, I'm feeling it. Kofi's like, I've got this. It's my time. Kofi Kingston is going to chop right here. A drop kick. Come on, Kofi. Kofi. How are you going to get there? Oh, here is Kofi Kingston says, it's time to do it here. Time to make a splash. Boom, boom. Boom! Kofi Kingston thinking that could be it for Brock. I don't think so, but Kofi says it's over. One, two, and oh no, Brock Lesnar says no. And Kofi Kingston, oh look at that suplex by Brock. A WWE Championship is on the line, and Brock Lesnar not going to give it, uh, not going to give it up easily. Brock Lesnar has seen the different types of uh, guys go after him, and they have not been able to. Brock Lesnar though. And look at again, another suplex. And Paul Heyman is telling Brock, finish him, finish him. And look at Brock Lesnar, power bomb. And look at the strength of Lesnar just to lift him up again. Another one, no, not three. Look at this, just the strength to do that. Brock Lesnar is definitely making it known that he's, that he's the dominant man. And Kofi's, look at Kofi, his eyes are shut. But Kofi's trying his best, man. And Edge has been told, you gotta hit the, you gotta leave, man. You've gotta leave. Edge is gone. Kofi Kingston's guy who's been saving it for a while is gone. And look at Brock running right at him.
You know, Brock lifted him up. Power. Po I thought he was going for a power bomb, but Kofi now needs to realize, hey, this is my time to move it again. I've got, I've got what I need. Kofi Kingston. Brock Lesnar's like, I'm not even feeling these punches. Kofi's trying his best. Go oh, look at Paul Heyman. Kofi says, hey, Paul. Look at Paul. He's like, uh-uh. No, no. And Kofi says, here, how about one of these? And Paul Heyman goes flying. And Brock, oh, no, Brock. Suplex. What is what is Paul, what is Brock doing? This isn't what you do. Oh, look at that. Brock Lesnar doesn't do that very often, but when he does, it hits. And Kofi's trying his best right here, man. And DDT by Kofi Kingston. But Kofi's feeling the effects of that one, too. Both men down. Somebody's got to get up. And if I, I'm Kofi, I'm doing whatever I can to get up. Kofi. Come on, Kofi. Come on, Kofi. Do it. Kofi, pinfall. Well, a bullet look at Heyman now. Heyman says, let me get involved in this one. And Kofi, like, you're just making me pissed off here, man. And look at, oh, no, Brock says, it's time to put this guy out of his misery. Brock Lesnar saying, it's going to be time to put him out of here. The WWE Championship on the line. And Brock Lesnar making sure that Kofi Kingston doesn't walk out alive. Oh, look at this right here. Look at him. This is really necessary. Brock. Brock. Look at this knee to the face of Kofi. Brock Lesnar is doing exactly what everyone expected him to do. That's defeat Kofi. But look at Kofi, though. Kofi's like, I'm not going to give up, man. I, this isn't my style. I don't give up. I fight. I do what I can. I fight and I fight and I fight. And Kofi Kingston doing his best here to keep himself in this one. Kofi Kingston's like, let's make you crazy here. Boom. Boom. Kofi's got him right there with that boom, boom, boom. Kofi Kingston now dropping knees right into the midsection. Kofi Kingston says, hey, let's fight, man. You want her to fight? I'll give you a fight. I'll give you the one-on-one -on -one that she wanted. I'll give you the thing, the match, man, that no one else has been able to do that. And give you my quickness, my speed, the thing that's made him dangerous with Kofi Kingston is that speed that he has, that, 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 that athleticism. That wild cat man, he's like a freaking cat man. He's going around crazy. He is one cool cat. And Kofi Kingston says, hey, I'm feeling crazy. I'm feeling hyped. This energy that Kofi Kingston brings up is crazy. Kofi says, let's give you another one. Here we go. Boom. 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 Kofi Kingston says, here. Here you go, Paul. Paul Heyman. Oh, trying to get involved. This Paul Heyman is a little weak. -y. Paul Heyman's like, hey, I'm not doing anything. And Kofi Tomlin in paradise at the ball. Tomlin in paradise to Paul Heyman. And oh, no, no. Heyman's F5 by Brock Lesnar. F5, F5, one, two. The kick out by, the kick out by Kofi. How is that possible? Brock is like, hell no. Brock Lesnar is pissed off right now. And now he's got the Kamara lock. The Kamara lock. Oh, Kofi. I don't think Kofi can handle this one, man. Kofi, come on, man. Kofi Kingston in pain here. Kofi in pain. And Brock's like, ref's like, come on, you got to let go of that one for a while. And look at Brock Lesnar right back after him. That... Kofi kicking out. Kofi kicking out of that F5 seems to be the thing that just pissed Brock Lesnar off. And Kofi kicks and says, how about a pinfall? I know this could be the way I win it, but no. And he knocks down Brock Lesnar's advocate. And look at Paul Heyman's animal. Paul Heyman's beast got the pin on on Kofi. Kofi though switches the route. Kofi's like come on ref one. They're not switch the route by Paul Bray Barak. But that kick out though. Oh come on man. Brock Lesnar and Paul Heyman right now are in very grave concern because Kofi Kingston has lo gone longer than they said he would have gone. 
Kofi Kings is trying his best here to keep himself alive in this matchup. And oh my God, not again. Not again, look at that power bomb. And look, wow, look at the strength of Lesnar yet again. Lifting up Kofi like nothing. Wow. Brock Lesnar right now destroying Kofi Kingston. And Kofi says, here's the chops. Leg drop. Come on, Kofi. Knees. Kofi. Yes. Kofi. Here you go. Boom. Boom. Kofi dropping. Yes. Kofi's like, I'm trying to be WWE champion. Time to do it. Time to become the champ. Kofi is in the verge. Kofi gets his trumpet and buried on new WWE champion. New WWE champion. Lay Heyman. There it is. One. Oh, no. Come on. The poor boy from Ghana, West Africa. Oh, he's been dreaming his whole life. He's becoming WWE champion. And Kofi. Kofi. Oh, he flew. Yes. And no, 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 no. Brock's got Kofi. No. F5. F5. F5, no. F5, no, no, he got him again. Not two in a row. Not like this. Kofi Kingston's dreams have been shattered. Kofi's dreams have been destroyed by the beast Brock Lesnar. And Lesnar retains a WWE Championship. Oh my God, man, I, Brock, look, here's what Kofi had. I think Kofi had it. Brock Lesnar distracting the, I mean, Brock Lesnar's advocate, Paul Heyman, distracting the referee, and Heyman hits two destructive F5s on Kofi Kingston. Brock Lesnar will walk out of Money in the Bank, still your WWE champion, and we probably won't see him defend that championship again until SummerSlam. Kofi Kingston's dream has been shattered and destroyed. His dream is over. Kofi will no longer be WWE champion ever again. No longer will he have a chance at it again. His one chance is gone. But what a fight by Kofi. Kofi has shown he is no longer just a mid-card act, that he is ready to shine. But tonight was not his night. Brock Lesnar. You can add, you can add this thing to him. The man who destroys your dreams. The man who destroys dreams. The man who eats dreams. Call him Freddy Krueger. Because he goes into your dreams and he kills it. He kills you and your dreams. That's what Brock Lesnar did here tonight at Money in the Bank. Thank you for joining us here from Phoenix, Arizona. Brock Lesnar is still your WWE champion. Where is Antonio Cesaro when you need it? Come on, Cesaro. Cash it now. Now, 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 now. Cash it, cash it, cash it. 